times. Okay, been a while, but I think I've got everything set up. I'm still operating on one monitor, so it's why I'm preferring games with um, smaller windows so I can keep everything on one screen and still see the chat and still keep an eye on OBS. Uh, I am also having a weird internet issue. Should be solved um, here in about a week or two. Hopefully it won't um, cause an issue with streaming, but if you guys experience any problems, do let me know, and yeah, good to be back. A uh, lot's been going on, but, uh, just trying to get back into the swing of things, I guess. Jump scared you, you forgot the stream was open? Well, there we go, first scare of the year for me. Good. Let's see. How is everyone Saturday? Yeah, hope everyone's having a good weekend so far, and uh, hopefully everyone's uh, starting the new year off in a in a in a good way. Yeah, welcome back to streaming. Welcome back to you all, Ron. Okay, so uh, if you didn't see by the title, we are gonna play Perret M Haru. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I would gather that it's, um, I guess, supposed to be Egyptian, but it's also technically a Japanese game. You know. Uh, taking place in Egypt, so who knows how the translation is uh, working out there. Um, this is actually, I think, uh, an RPG maker game. It predates most of the RPG uh, maker horror games that we've seen, such as Witch's House and Ib and, uh, what was it, Mad Doctor, etc. Um, I think the reason we haven't really heard of it is because it didn't get translated until 2014. It was translated by a fan group called... Uh-oh. Well, it was, it was, I think, Memories of Fear. They've also translated a whole lot of Corpse Party games as well. They've got like 10 of them on their little webpage there. This is also for free, so if you go to Memories of Fear, you can download it for yourself. The Wild West days of RPGs. I had no idea they actually went all the way back to 1998. I thought they were more of a... Well, I guess I only knew they existed because of the, the boom of horror games. You know, Paranoiac and, you know, Mermaid Swamp and all that. But they've been going for a long time, which is nice to see. Okay, let's go ahead and get things up and running. Now, the sound, um, the music is very... I don't know what the technical term is, but it reminds it reminds me a lot of, you know, um, DOS music. Very um, MIDI file. I, I don't know, but um, I turned it way down because it actually blew my ears out the first time I ran it. So um, I'll, I'll turn it up just to make sure that we've got it. But yeah, the whole premise is that um, this guy wants to explore the pyramids. Turns out it's full of, uh, uh, you know, or a pyramid, full of deadly traps. So he uses a group of tourists to kind of be the, the guinea pigs as they maneuver through the pyramids. And you do have to manage your party and stuff, otherwise people will die. It is very similar to Corpse Party. I wouldn't be surprised if I found out Corpse Party... Um, you know, or then again, maybe Corpse Party predates it. I, I don't know, but there are some similarities. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and stop the music. I did play this a while ago. I think it was about a year or two ago. Um, so I do remember quite a bit, uh, but we're going to go ahead and just, you know, play through it. I'm not going to spoil anything. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? It's very, I don't know what term that is, but very chip-like, I guess. So we're going to watch the opening. Yeah, nice to see you guys too. Is there permadeath? Yes. There's like 10 people in the group of tourists. Uh, nearly everybody can die, and if they do die, they do stay dead. So you got to watch your saves or your save files. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> Let me turn that down a little bit. I tried. I had it so low. 
the once proud, industrious, and rich civilization of ancient Egypt. Its ruins are home to many great wonders and treasures. However, the greatest amongst these is... the Great Pyramid of Giza. The intent and method behind the construction of this pyramid is veiled in countless mysteries, such as the theory of pyramid power. Khufu, the second pharaoh of the fourth dynasty, was the one who led its construction. However, all traces of the pharaoh himself have been lost. Neither his remains nor a vast inheritance have been found. Theorists, historians, archaeologists, all those who pilot these fields have submitted forth their hypotheses. Or hypotheses. Hmm. However, without desecrating the pyramid, the truth cannot be revealed. There is one tentative theory that sparks interest. Inside the Great Pyramid is a corridor leading to the three bur or leading to three burial chambers. Above ground are two chambers, the King's Chamber and the Queen's Chamber. From there, a descending passage leads into a subterranean chamber. In 1837, I hope you guys like this. This is the entire game. Just kidding. Um, in 1837, one Egyptologist claimed that the Great Pyramid actually housed Pharaoh Khufu's tomb. They tried to confirm this through the accounts described by Greek historian Herodotus. Though he dug a hole 11 meters underground to prove this theory, all he was able to find in the end was dirt and rock. This did not dissuade those who stood firmly behind his theory, though. You never know what truths you might uncover unless you dig deep enough. No, oh, you're not late. We just started. Don't worry. They're just talking about the Pyramid of Giza. Um, I just gave a bit of backstory on the game. You're, you're fine. There are still those who believe this, no matter what adversity effaces them. I don't know why, but I got Yu-Gi-Oh vibes from the the sprites and the portraits. Well, maybe not the sprites, but, you know, the character cutouts where you see faces and stuff. I think it was just the style back then, but, you know. Yeah, see what I mean? Or maybe it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, but it reminds me of something. Okay, so we have Professor Tetsuya Tsuchida. What's our current status, Kuro? Kuroe? Huh. Koji Kuroe. Let's see. According to the CSAMT, Controlled Source Audio Frequency Mag... Magnetotellurics? Is that a real word? Scan, we're approaching 25 meters. Shouldn't be much later now. Oh, longer. I looked at the chat. <laughs> a Yu-Gi-Oh horror game. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, that's just regular Yu-Gi-Oh. -Oh. That's Yu-Gi-Oh Zero, or whatever that uh, pilot was. Shouldn't be much uh, longer now. Ah, uh, Tsuchida. Hmm, I see. If things go smoothly as our survey would indicate, we should make quite the discovery. The time that mankind rarely witnesses with it, within their own lifetime. See, this is why I did the stream before I did the, the read the book on the stream. I need to practice a little bit. It's time to duel. <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho? Maybe it's closer to that. Okay, Tsuchida. Or so I hope. I'd hate to suffer humiliation after all we've been through. Hmm. Kuroe, you say that, but aren't we kinda going off on a limb here? The electromagnetic findings do indicate something, but it's far from being reliable or conclusive. By the way, how's the, the audio in relation to my voice? Is one too loud or, you know, how are they interacting? It's a real word! No! It refers to interference from natural magnetics. Well, they could have given it an easier word, but, you know. Tsuchida. I'm well aware of that. That is why we're merely double-checking. Many who believe in Herodotus's writings hold fast to the belief that the tomb of... Uh... Knum Khufu lies somewhere underground. So Khufu, Pharaoh Khufu, right? I wonder if Knum means Pharaoh. I, I don't know. Kuroe, I'm not here for a history lesson, Professor. Simply point me in the direction of his treasure and I will be one happy camper. Mark my words, I have a good feeling about this one. I'm not asking much of you. As long as you cooperate, I assure you that you'll get your piece of the pie. Metal science. <laughs> Evangelon, <laughs> well... Yeah, graphics is a 90s anime vibe. I believe this did come out in like 1998, and it was used with the 1998 RPG Maker uh, engine. Dante or something? 
Kuroe, you're the boss, boss. I'm in no position to question the world authority on ancient Egypt, so direct me as you wish. Seems our biggest concern now will be when the SCA, Supreme Council of Antiquities, that just sounds uh, kind of ominous, starts to notice what we're doing. Have I played Don't Escape or The Deep Sleep? Yes, I've played all the Don't Escape games up to the point where it's paid, so I still have to buy that one, and I've played the Deep Sleep games. I think I played one for the channel as well, one of the Deep Sleeps, or two. Um, let's see... Wasn't there a remake of this in the works for RPG Maker? Really? Uh, I hadn't heard of it. All I know about this is that it was, I believe, submitted as a contest, like an RPG Maker contest, and it wasn't translated in 2014. You guys can probably dig up some other interesting information. Um, starts to notice what we're doing. Makes sense. No wonder you're getting so worked up over this. Still, we're a bit understaffed, aren't we? The rest of our crew hasn't arrived yet. Okay, it's a little dark, but I think it's supposed to be. I can always raise the gamma in a second, so we'll see what the next scene looks like. Hired miner. I don't know, you're not supposed to have miners working for you. Fire in the hole, get down. Halt, you. I pay you to do your job, not to imitate action heroes. Sorry, sir, I wasn't trying to act cool or nothing. You see, there's an extremely thick layer of bedrock. I had no choice but to resort to explosives. Oh, I see. I can smell it. There's definitely a tomb down there. Well, what's our status now? Have I played Cube Escape? Uh, I think that's related to the Rusty Lake series. I bought a couple of those, but I haven't played them yet. Just give me one moment, sir. What's this? Um, sirs? The bedrock below, it gave away. There appears to be some kind of chamber here. You're kidding me. Could it be we finally found it? Hmm. Here's the plan. You two stay here, I'll descend below to see what I can find. But miners can crawl into small spaces, perfect for those hard-to-reach canopic, er, canopic jars, yeah. This chamber was originally sealed, right? Are we sure that the air down here is breathable? Oh, down there. According to my senses, we should be fine. What senses? Yes, I'm absolutely positive. I don't smell any toxic fumes at all. All right, men, I'm heading below. Kuroe, I hope your eyes are adjusted by now. Right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, didn't expect that the bald guy to make a sound like that. These stone walls, this is it. This is definitely it. I have no doubt about it. These are man-made. Oh, Mario's here. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Oh, so there we go. So we're able to control him. Professor Tsuchida, he's level 8. <laughs> you can see the status of the party down below. Um, two living. I'm gonna turn it down one, I think. Because some of the song tracks do vary in, in uh, decibels, loudness, whatever the technical term is. And you've got different uh, actions that you will have to use once, because this is going to kind of be the tutorial or the intro or the prologue. So, um, yeah. You don't really get into the gear much during the game, and you can switch characters and use them. Let's go ahead and save real quick. You know what, I might as well overwrite my other... Eh, it's fine. Let's take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, so maniacal laughter. Yeah, these actions can be like push, pull, open, shout, etc. And they're all unique to the different characters. In fact, this is really similar to Sweet Home, if you've ever played uh, Sweet Home. Now, let's see here. I have to say, for a newly discovered chamber, it's quite underwhelming. Where are all the murals? All right, so that's just about it. They don't really do anything at the moment because we don't have to use them, but it's just fun to see what they are. What's the professor's weapon of choice? Does he beat mummies with a textbook? Oh no, he's gonna let you do all the fighting once the game starts. Ah, stairs. Let's descend them. I love the, the background. It's a little discordant, but it does actually sound a bit Egyptian. Not that anyone would actually know what Egyptian music sounds like, though. How vast, even more than I thought it'd be. 
Incredible, who would have thought that the subterranean chamber would be even more structurally advanced than the above ground chambers? Voice from above. Professor Tsuchida, uh, are you still alive down there? I'm quite fine. Why don't you come down here and see for yourself? What's the matter, Kuroe? Dumbfounded in astonishment? There are no words. Hmm, would believe this oh uh, would you believe this is the only or only the beginning for us? Do you realize we have made an unfathomable discovery? Aha. <laughs> Don't forget we also committed an unfathomable crime. Do you mean in the eyes of the World Heritage Committee? What a bunch of crock. Those old codgers would rather see the world's past rot away under the guise of protection. Look, feel, touch the pyramid's walls, bask in its ancient history, listen to its memories. The World Heritage Committee would deny you all of this. That is their true nature, to stop us from solving its riddles. Moreover, they seek to destroy the most basic of human emotion, curiosity, the thirst for knowledge. They want to prevent us from investigating the mysteries surrounding the Great Pyramid. What hypocrites. I'm with you, Professor. Our work here is of the utmost importance. We should explore further inside. Phew, I've forgotten I'm not, in the, sp I'm not the spring chicken I used to be. Yeah, somebody points out that if you smell the toxic fumes, you're probably gonna pass out before you even realize something's wrong. I know, what is it, that, um, carbon something, where, like, if you descend into a pit and it, it's got, like, one of those heavy gases, you'll, you'll just pass out in seconds, and then people that come in to rescue you will end up passing out, too. I think, I think people have died from that quite a bit, um, specifically on Oak Island, I think. Carbon monoxide? I was thinking that, but I couldn't, I always get dioxide and monoxide swapped, so... Yeah, probably carbon monoxide. All right, such an enormous room. Somehow I expected this entire place to look a bit more ancient. Turns out they're just in like some wine cellar of a nearby mansion. W what's that? Look over there, Professor. Is this a door? I mean, it certainly looks like one. I'm sure of it. There has to be something beyond this. I agree. However, it appears this door won't budge with just our strengths combined. Kuroe, would you go fex, uh, fetch that miner from before? On it. Even with that man we hired, I'm still not convinced we have enough manpower. You need to track down a money pit game? <laughs> the game is real life, though. Just, just head on over there. Um... Okay. Was I too hasty in my preparations? Damn it. Was this all for naught? No, I have to act fast before the SCA finds me. I have to lead the charge and blaze a trail to glory and grand discovery. But to do that, I have to get through this blasted door. Then everything will finally be unveiled. I feel like this professor is how the priest in the fifth element sounds explaining things to people. Just kind of nutty and like the world is against him. Yeah, yeah. I will plunder all of your secrets, you hear me? Just shouting at the door. The SCA is like the IRS, you can never escape them. Oh yeah. Uh, Professor? Ah, oh, you're already back. It's like they heard him shouting from across the hall. Well, I'll be. There really are ruins down here. Yes, yes. Now, could we ask one last favor of you? What's that, sir? My assistant and I are fairly confident that this object here is a door. You look like you've got some muscle. Do you think you can try opening it for us? Yes, sir. Let me handle it. Wow, this door's pretty heavy. Open the blast doors. Uh, so it's too much even for you? Don't sweat it. I've got it under control. Heave ho, heave ho. Ah, I think it budged just a bit. What? That's great. Keep at it. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, that's, uh... The quality is a bit, maybe it's the internet connection, but I get feedback and there's a crackling background noise. Oh no, my friend, that is just the, uh, that is just the natural music in this game from the 1990s. Um, if it's stopped for you, then that's because the music has stopped. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Gasp. Ah. Uh -huh. 
How in the... How could this be, Professor? I, I don't know. What the hell just happened? Wheeze. Professor, get a hold of yourself. Mm, I'll be alright. Still, what just happened here? The door didn't give consent. Kuro, do you see anything that might tell us what have um, might tell us what caused his death? I don't want to go over there. Nothing. I see. Could this be the work of Khufu's curse? Better or worse than pressurized salt acid? I well, it was quick, probably. No, it has to be some kind of trap. Stop spouting rubbish. That went on its own. Huh. Hmm? Uh, over here, Kuro, look. What is it? Focus your attention right along here. There is a very fine thread stretched across. Could it be wire? Huh? Where? I don't see... Ah, my hand's bleeding. I barely even touched it. So how did I get cut? Ah, and so easily too. I see. Yeah, I didn't notice until it was already too late. So, it's an extremely sharp wire then. Most fascinating. Clearly a man-made trap. Don't you understand the severity of the situation? In a nutshell, this is a decapitation wire meant to kill those who disturb Pharaoh Khufu's chambers. If we don't properly respect his legacy, he'll strike us down as unworthy to stand in his presence. Indeed, this is a grave matter for us. We cannot proceed further in our current state. Perhaps once we gather more people, we may be able to explore more safely and expeditiously. True, especially when my team of researchers won't arrive until tomorrow. Yeah, we really rushed ahead of ourselves, didn't we? It was unavoidable. We are at the complete mercy of the SCA. I, I, uh, I had to strong-arm my way thus far, and the SCA is already suspicious of my persistence. What can I do? As long as I have my assistant, no, my pawn, I will be fine. Oh no. Yes, there's nothing left to think about. It's all going to be that simple. After all, I have no other alternatives left to me. Professor? You were speaking aloud. I could hear everything you just said. Did you call me a pawn? <laughs> so what now? Are we putting things on hold until our crew arrives? As long as I'm still standing, we're going to keep marching forward. Our primary issue is indeed our lack of manpower, but we have more pressing matters to attend to. First, I need you to go hide that body. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, so just basic assistant work then, huh? Are you serious, Professor? Let's think this over rationally. Cease your whining and follow orders. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Kuroe. What a grand place this turned out to be. Two men in a tomb with a fresh corpse. Just what the doctor ordered. Don't worry, I'm sure the both of you will come out of this pyramid as the best of friends. Ah, uh, well, whatever. I gotta follow the professor's orders. I cannot delay. So, this is all up to Kuroe and I. No matter how I look at it, the two of us are not enough. I need at least ten other people. Yes, ten will suffice. The situation has become dire enough that I can no longer afford to keep this a secret between just the two of us. I can make matters easier by assembling a suitable workforce right outside this pyramid. Who cares if they're just tourists? What did you miss? A uh, guy blasts a hole in a pyramid. He's really not supposed to be doing that. It's booby-trapped and he's like, I know, I'll just get ten people to come down here and be the people that will die into the traps instead of me. So, there you go. Now you're updated. <laughs> Oh gosh, generic protagonist. I'm, maybe not, uh, I'm not able to stay for the stream, so I'm just popping in to say hi. Well, hello to you too. Uh, hope it was fun while you were here. And yeah, it's going to be uh, archived like the other videos on my channel. So if you are interested later, it'll be up there in a couple hours. And thank you for the $5. Oh, you know what? Heads up. Nobody donated me any money. Um, this is the time of year I tend to invest in crypto and then sell before summer. So don't, don't give me money. It's going right into Litecoin. So, <laughs> uh... Okay, this is ultra-low latency, right? Yes, it is. 
So it's, um, let me know if anything weird happens. It should be fine, especially since this game is very pixely. It's not really taxing. Um, but if anybody notices any stutters or lag, do let me know. Not Dogecoin. I have invested in Dogecoin previously, but Litecoins always come through for me, so. Five bucks donations equal three. Yeah, yeah. All right, whoa. How about that 4,550 plus year old air, huh? <laughs> Seems all that was available were eight tourists in their tour guide, all of them Japanese. Far from ideal, but I'll make do with what I have. Professor, who are these people? Common Japanese tourists. As luck would have it, they were all close by Khufu's sanctum. That's not what I meant. What are they doing here? What seems to be the problem? They're tourists, Professor. Do you have any idea what will happen if the SCA gets wind of this? Considering our circumstances, I've given up the pretense of hiding this. Besides, it is up to us to elucidate the mystery once and for all behind Pharaoh Khufu's Great Pyramid. You can still smell the mummy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Still, they're tourists, not researchers. They have their uses. For example, remember the concealed trap by that door? So you're saying... Correct, they are ideal candidates. P Professor Tsuchida, you can't be seriously suggesting they... Yeah, and I, I don't know if the music is like the basic, um, you know, generic RPG Maker music they have on selection, but I can't find the soundtrack for this. Um, uh, I'm sure you could probably just take a tool and record the screen, you know, when there's no sound effects and, and get the tracks, but um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Fancy hat, three bucks. Sorry, I'm an enabler. <laughs> you are, you certainly are. Um, I've, I've had luck with it though, so it's not like I'm just throwing it away, so so trust me, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, right around summer you guys can ask me how well I've done, and then I will either be very happy or very embarrassed. The time is now 1.55pm Eastern European time, and the door to the inner chambers has been blown open. The SCA will let us stay here for the remainder of the day, however, as the sun goes down, the temperature will drop drastically, so we don't have time to dally too long. Although, if they're underground, I'm pretty sure the temperatures don't change um, as extremely as the upper, upper, you know, above ground does, right? Turns out Voidhead did the music. <laughs> Remember, people, this is not a sightseeing trip. Our purpose is to delve into the depths to survey and appraise the antiquities within. Everyone's like, but we're tourists. This is literally a, a tour group. <laughs> and to solve the mystery of Pharaoh Khufu and the Great Pyramid. That's great and all, but how should we start? We must keep risk at a minimum, therefore... You, lad, what is your name? Teenage boy. Huh? You mean me? Uh, my name's Ayuto. Ayuto Asaki. I see. Now, Ayuto, would you mind carrying this flashlight for me? I will be following right behind you. Oh no, the kid's gonna get it. Um, okay. Oh my, my shoelace is undone. Sorry, Ayuto, would you mind scouting ahead while I take care of this? Ah, the first sacrifice, yeah, exactly. Eh? Don't worry, it'll only take a moment. Yeah, see, so this is a brutal um, storyline, and, and the deaths are really brutal too, they show them. I can't see crap. Why am I on my own, armed with this measly flashlight? It makes no sense. Sure is dark in here. What is this feeling? Suddenly, I feel this rush of adrenaline. Going on an adventure to explore an ancient ruin. It's stuff you only get to do in video games. <laughs> this is all too surreal. Kinda sucks there isn't some creepy background music emitting from the walls or something. Is there a golden ending where you save everyone? Hmm... Not everybody has to die, I'll put it that way. 
And you have to be real careful because, I'll be honest, the first time I played this, I... And I was playing smart, or trying to play smart, so we'll, we'll have a look. Um, I'm either thinking for this playthrough, we'll, you guys will have to decide on this. Are we going to have it where everybody dies, because that's going to be maximum horror, or are we going to have it where we try to save everyone? I'll, I'll let you guys mull that over for a little bit. Oh, the ground's pretty rugged around here. So here we are. Yeah, and the, the music varies from kind of pleasant to really disconcerting. I'll turn this one a little bit down. Okay, so we're playing as a Yudo right now. Uh, and again, if you've ever played Sweet Home or seen it, uh, you'll, you'll, this will be a bit familiar with the way we do this. So we've got 11 living people. Our actions are pull and push. So a, a Yudo is uh, the one that gets things done. Oh, you're late? Did, did you miss much? Okay, I'll do one more recap. So, um, Pyramid, Guy, P Crazy Professor is like, I know there's a secret chamber beneath it, but the problem is it's booby-trapped, so he sneaks a bunch of tourists in there so that if they run into trouble, it's the turrets that get ganked instead of him. Yeah, there you go. And this is a 1998 game or something. Is this a lake? No, it looks more like a river. But I'm deep underground. The water's surface seems to be shining. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Why... why did you have to send a Yudo off all alone? Isn't that dangerous? What in the world were you thinking? No, young lady. In fact, it's quite the opposite. To, stand, to send one person ahead as a scout is by far the safest course of action. It's common sense, really. Then why didn't you go instead? Because I am supervising this expedition. Additionally, I fall short of the young lad in vision, hearing, and physical strength. He's practically blind and deaf. <laughs> then why him and not... It was Eudo's baseball cap that stood out the most amongst all of you. I thought that would be the fairest method to choose. Hey guys! I'm not quite sure how, but it looks like there's a river over here. What? We should check this out, Professor. Indeed. Everyone, please follow me quietly and in an orderly fashion. Everybody immediately shoves around him to get into the next room. <laughs> the children go first. Yeah, exactly. This guy is like a teenage boy. A lot of, quite a few people here are, are um, teenagers, if not young adults. Hi, Ezra. Hi, Drake. Hope you're having a good time. Can we save everyone but the Professor? There's a few people you can't save, but I'll try and keep that a secret that way. Yeah. So you don't know who can die and who will die. Great work, Eudo, my lad. What you've done for us must have took a lot of courage. So, Professor, what does this mean for us? Please don't tell me we've all we've discovered is a dark, damp cavern. On the contrary, the lad's findings have only intrigued me further. We should not jump to conclusions now. I'm more sure than ever that this cavern is hiding something far more important. To think an underground river is running through the depths of the Great Pyramid. Astonishing. <laughs> On a separate matter, Ayudo, would you mind if you became our official surveyor? I feel as if you were born for the job. Ain't there a six-year-old in the group? Yes, yes there is, although I think she's eight. I, I don't know. Um, why don't you join our team and leave your mark in history? So we have a choice here. What do you think, guys? Will we become the, the destined surveyor, or will we say no nah, thanks? The latency is relatively low, so I'll give it a couple a couple seconds for you guys to say what you think. You cannot say no. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, try no. As a depressed introvert, I say we kill. <laughs> Shh, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna say no, because, you know, m maybe somebody else would be better suited. Don't hold back, lad. Everyone here is counting on you to lead them in top form. Do you really intend to let them down like this? In other words, but thou must. We are all depending on you to guide us through this. What do you say? Uh, still no. I'm sorry? I thought I heard you say no, but surely it's just the wax buildup in my ears, right? You'll do it, won't you? Nah. Yeah, so you you can hit it as many times as you want. I've tried that. You can't. You cannot refuse. You cannot ignore the call of duty. All right. 
I knew it. I knew you couldn't resist. Listen up, everyone. I want you to give Ayuto your full cooperation. There is so much more left undiscovered. I'm counting on you, Ayuto. If you think you've found anything of interest, come back and consult with me on it. Okay, so we are... Ayuto is mostly going to be the guy we're, we're using to run around with. Uh, we can go ahead and talk to the other tourists just to get an eyeful of um, who we have in our group here. <laughs> I'm not your lad, guy. <laughs> Okay, tall man. So we don't have- most of the people are- there's gonna be describing them based on physical characteristics because we don't know everyone quite yet. I thought this whole pretense seemed kind of sketchy at first, but now I think I may have stumbled onto a scoop here. Alright, so we've got a tall man. We've got Nei Ichikawa. Oh, Ayuto, would you mind if I tag along? All right, so clearly she knows us, or we know her. That's, I believe that's the same teenage girl that spoke us, uh, spoke up for us earlier. Kiyosuke Hino. Hmm, I'm not sure what kind of fate is in store for us. I guess we'll give it all we've got, Ayuto. So he clearly knows Ayuto as well. They're probably a group of teens that were here together. So Kiyosuke and Nei. And Yoko. Yoko Nogisaka. You're not afraid at all, Ayuto? So that's their group. Redhead girl. What's your problem? Go take a long walk off a short pier. I could kill you down here, and nobody would even really, you know, hold it against me. I could get away with it. Okay, and then we've got this guy. Overweight and <laughs> Gee, Ayuto, come on. You could say glasses, man. How about that? That professor. I've seen him quite often on TV. Never mind me. I'm simply musing to myself. The wiggle graphics, so advanced. I, I do like uh, RPG Maker games that have a little bit of wiggle to them, because otherwise they're just very still and stationary. Little girl. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Tour guide. Professor Tsuchida, just how long do you plan on trying my patience with this drawn-out investigation of these ruins? You're a tour guide. You never should have let us come down here. You are endangering my clients with your flagrant disregard for their safety. They are getting the privilege of participating in an active excavation of freshly discovered ruins. You can't put a price tag on this experience. Beats the pants off of a guided travel tour, wouldn't you agree? They're dancing because they're excited. Maybe in the twisted reality that, only, that exists only in your sick mind. Not everyone on this tour is an Egyptophile. Some may only have a passing interest and don't necessarily want to be dragged around like this. That was interesting. Ah, uh, well, how's the recording look? Everything good on your guys' end? Not sure if that was the game emulator freaking out temporarily, or... It briefly flashed red for a second there, but otherwise everything's green. So no worries, it, it should just... it should go back to normal in a second. Okay. Alright, so we got a tour guide, we got a couple adults, and then our little group of teens here, and then the two that dragged us into this. Now, Ayuto, I want you to investigate farther into this cavern for us. You seem to be completely healthy. You're good to go, Ayuto. And so there's clearly a fish here. I'm sure there won't be any harm in investigating. You know what? Let me save real quick. There we go. Music went bananas for a second. Yeah, that was super <laughs> kind of kind of spooky. The water looks almost as if it's shining. That is due to the bioluminescent plankton, Ayuto. Plankton? Yes, they are living organisms that produce a particular kind of glow. With that many plankton growing, there's bound to be fish who might be attracted to it. Hey, Ayuto? Yeah? Look, you must proceed with caution henceforth. The professor, he... Ah, Kuroe, witness how marvelous this underground river is. Er, uh, yes, Professor. Even the Noctiluca scintillians, scintillans are just as fascinating, no? Huh? That reminds me, Kuroe, you didn't major in marine biology, correct? You were a medical student, if I recall. Please, Professor, I obtained my medical license a while ago. Have you now? My, I must have forgotten. We speak of it so rarely that it slipped my mind. Uh, am I interrupting something? <laughs> Ayuto, behind you! Can we vote the redhead off the island? I'm sure we'll be doing so shortly. What? 
Yeah, so here we go. Um, it is also a turn-based uh, kind of uh, battle system, RPG, sort of. So we are now fighting strange fish. <laughs> Well, that was easy. You want to finish the game today? Uh, I'll aim for it. I plan to stream for an hour, two hours maybe. We'll, we'll see if we're on a roll. Otherwise, I'll just uh, finish it up maybe tomorrow or in a day. Ayudo, are you alright? What the heck just happened? A fish attack. How peculiar. Most fish this generation don't attack humans. What does he mean, most fish this generation? Does he mean they used to? Did you see that, Professor? Are you injured, lad? I'm fine. Eudo, you will encounter plenty of dangers like this one during our survey, or your survey. Please, I beg you to exercise caution. A wild Magikarp has appeared. <laughs> All it did was use Splash. Uh, uh, okay. Let the lad be, Kuroe. I've had about enough of his meddling. A professor, if I may, I feel we're shouldering a great burden onto Eudo. What if I accompany him? Absolutely not. You are staying here next to me. Why is that? Kuroe, need I remind you of your duty here? It is not... Is it not to be my faithful assistant? What, a, what good is an assistant if he is not there to assist? However, I feel that Kuroe has brought up a valid point. Ayudo, you are free to take along one other person to aid you. Though keep your exploration party to just you and one other. I don't want things to get chaotic because too many people are running about at once. Professor... Is that a real... Is that the real reason? I am trying to prevent them from forming alliances with each other. Recruit teammates has been added to your actions. At a gathering spot, go to your menu, then select actions and recruit teammates to add people to your party. Yeah, so we'll have that as in one of our performable actions. You can only add one member to your party at a time. If you happen to recruit someone else, the previous party member will automatically leave. Also, you cannot recruit anyone who has an X next to their name. Yeah, so a meat shield. All right, so we'll go next to somebody, we'll use the actions, and we'll try to recruit this guy. Oh, well, I guess we don't have to be next to him. So if you notice, only the guy, the guy friend and then the teenage girl that was our friend, only they are available. You get some interesting dialogue if you try to invite other people, though. So, oh, also, this is a good opportunity to look at their faces. So this is Yoko. Ah, uh, you mean me? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, whoa there, Ayudo. The hell, man? Why do you want to take Yoko? Or Yo-Yo? Wait, Yo-Yo? I thought it was Yoko. You trying to get her killed or something? If, some, uh, if someone has to babysit ya, here I am. Your worst friend, uh, Kiyosuke, forced his way into your exploration party. So effectively cock-blocked. Good job. So now he's in our party. Um, we can go ahead and... I think boot him out, though. Guess I got no choice, huh? Alright, let's do this. Your best friend, Kiyosuke, has joined your exploration party. There is a little bit of humor in this, and I do think it's a bit uh, clever. This man is wearing a tank top, we're fucked. <laughs> he's got a jacket on over it, he's just shrugging the jacket off forever. Alright, so we can go ahead and try to recruit the other teammates just to see what they look like. So, it was Yoko. I guess sometimes it's Yo-Yo, though. So let's try the tall man. Haha, <laughs> I'd be all too happy to help you out. Just now's the not the time. So many photos to take, so little time. I'll be rooting for you, Ayudo. He seems eager enough, but I guess he's quite preoccupied at the moment. So yeah, that's no good. Tour guide. So that's our tour guide. My sincerest apologies, Ayudo. I had initially planned to show you all something off the beaten path of typical tourism, but this situation has taken an all too dangerous turn that I won't tolerate. I'm going to keep trying to convince Professor Tsuchida to take us all back to the surface. In the meantime, stay safe. He's shrugging off the jacket to beat the shit out of us. Yes, he is. Okay, let's ask the little girl to be the meat shield. You want me to come along with you, mister? Yes, of course. Just follow Uncle Ayudo's lead. Wait, what? What the heck am I thinking? I must be nuts. Yeah, just chuck her at the monster if we see one. Alright. Overweight man. So judgmental. You want me to join you? Yeah, well, that is if you don't mind. Let's pretend we're playing a game of dodgeball here and you're captain. Do you still want to pick me out of your peers? What? 
What I'm saying is, you're built to handle tough situations, yet somehow you decided it'd be wise to call upon me, who was clearly lacking for that sort of activity. It's like a housewife who, despite talking positive, oh, taking positively no interest in politics, suddenly decides to go on strike against rising consumption taxes. Doesn't that seem like cowardly cowardice to you? Uh, this is exhausting. I think he's telling me he doesn't want to cooperate. Mm, can the tour guide just take everyone and leave? Why do they need the professor's help? I don't know. Okay, the redhead. What? Get away from me. Well, that failed spectacularly. She can't be bothered to help out. Oh, and we do have some items too, so that'll be, you know, uh, health related. Big boy said fuck off. Yeah, he did. He certainly did. Late, but happy to see you survive the holidays. Yep, you too. Hope everyone's had a good holiday and an even better new year. I'm sorry, Ayuto. I must be available to assist the professor at all times. Just let me know if you or your teammates are injured, okay? I'll tend to your wounds the best I can. All right, we're almost done. And then the professor himself. Ayuto, as the director of this expedition, I must stay here with the group. Come to me if you discover anything of importance or if there's something you don't quite understand. Honestly, this just makes me want to play uh, Nancy Drew and the, the Tomb of the Lost Queen. You know, the one in Egypt, where you get bit by a snake and die. One of these days. Okay, so the only one left is our friend. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'd be glad to help you out. Your meddlesome classmate, Nay, has joined your exploration party. Alright guys, so basically we have a choice between the guy in the tank top and then the, the chick. Who, who should we bring with us, huh? I'll give it a second for you guys to, to vote. If I peer in more closely, I can see more of those strange fish swimming around. All right. So we got first aid spray, chewing gum, and a cell phone. Used cell phone. My cell phone, just so we don't lose each other. Me and my friends make sure to carry them wherever we go. I wonder if it'll be useful down here. Oh, and we can also heal at Professor uh, Kurue. You guys want the tank top? Oh boy. You seem to be completely healthy. You're good to go, Ayuto. Yeah, so we don't need him to heal us. Uh, we get free healing, so that's good. Alright, so tank top it is, then. Uh, oh, each person has their, has their own unique actions. For instance, uh, Nay can do hip-hop music, which I think damages all enemies. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and recruit... Kyosuke. There we go. There we go, and his actions are spit. Okay, well, <laughs> the, you guys chose him. All right, time to get going. It's a tall stone pillar. Maybe this is noteworthy somehow. There's some strange pictures on it. I don't understand what they mean. More importantly, the river doesn't look crossable here either. Hmm, looks like we need to make some sort of bridge, Kyosuke. You know, it'd be perfect if that pillar fell. Other than that, we're stuck. Anyways, let's go tell that self-righteous professor guy about this. I love how they're, they found their first obelisk with crazy writing on it, and they're about to knock it over to make a bridge. Oh, you actually, you're gonna make me walk over there. Okay, fine, fine. So it's a little bit slow to begin, but uh, things are gonna heat up real quick. Say some mummy is dissing on your fly, girl. Mo knows what to do in a situation like this. What? You found a stone pillar with Egyptian hieroglyphics on it? Wouldn't it be hieroglyphs? Uh, professor? Very well. Ayuto, guide us all to that stone pillar, if you please. Hmm. Oh my. This is indeed an obelisk. An obby what? This stone pillar is called an obelisk. The ancient Egyptians have been known to inscribe them with hieroglyphs. They are invaluable pieces of cultural history. Let's knock it over. This is a great find, Ayudo. Hmm, I'm betting you'd like to know what is written here, wouldn't you? I guess? Truth is, I do want to know. Oh ho, so that is what it says. The Pharaoh's son is watching over the river's surface. This is likely referring to where we're currently standing. In short, the Pharaoh of Egypt had an adopted son. He was likely the only one allowed to enter this designated sacred ground. 
You want to change the guy's name to Tank Top Defender? Sure, um, I don't know if I could remember his name anyway. Furthermore, waiting to be taken into the Duat, the realm of the dead, in order to be reborn. Sounds to me like some kind of religious scripture. Oh, not bad, lad, for you have guessed correctly. Regi religion was a vital aspect of life for the ancient Egyptians. These hieroglyphs report of a ceremony performed by them back then. But what was the reason to hold a ceremony near this river, which just so happens to be inside a subterranean cavern hidden beneath the Great Pyramid? Well, we'll worry about it another time. Would you mind uh, continuing your investigation, Ayudo? Now, now then, let's see here. Okay, so it's up to me to go ahead and desecrate this religious object. Cool. Ayudo, be careful not to fall. I don't care what roundabout method you choose, Ayudo. Certainly you can think of some way for us to get over to the other side. You sure got a lot of guts. Isn't this whole thing dangerous? Hey, don't worry your pretty head over it too much, okay? In all my years as a photojournalist, I've never heard any reports of someone dying during a research and excavation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not true, right? Oh, well, then again, they usually die immediately after the excavation, you know what I mean? Can you spit on the hieroglyph? Okay, we're certainly gonna try. How about we do that? The professor seems to have taken a shine to you. Good for you, you know? Means I am not stuck doing men menial, menial tasks. I keep thinking monsters are gonna pop out everywhere. I wanna go home. You're blocking my view. Mind getting out of my way? Hang in there, Ayudo. Ayudo, are you actually enjoying yourself? What do you mean? All I'm saying is that the look on your face tells me you're happy to be exploring and possibly uncovering the mystery behind these ancient ruins. Uh, I guess so? Although I'm no expert in this field, I'm actually loving the whole exploration concept. Let's see. You gotta go? I'll try to come back later. Yeah, no problem. And uh, this is gonna be uploaded uh, right after the stream, so. All right, so let's go ahead and try to spit on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kiyosuke spat. Patui. It's a stone pillar, I guess I should say an obelisk. I recall it saying some kind of weird stuff about a rebirth on it. Yeah, so that did absolutely nothing. Um, I guess we will go ahead and try to push it. If we can push down this obelisk, yeah, it looks tall enough that we should be able to cross over to the other side. <laughs> If the fat guy is so lazy, why did he decide to come explore a dangerous dungeon? It sounds like the professor manipulated the tour guide into taking them down here on some off-beaten, you know, um, look, look-see at the, the tomb. Maybe if we both, maybe if both of us push it together, we'll be able to knock it over. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to proceed if we hadn't invited someone else into the group. What are you talking about, man? I can totally take this on my own. Alrighty then, peace out. Okay, so Tank Top wants to do all the work. Yo, hold up. Actually, it'd be faster if we both pushed. You're going down, Pillar. Phew, that was not easy. Yeah, I had to give it some serious muscle there. And there we have it. Ooh, I see now. Good brain work, lad. Alright, Ayudo, you are free to scout ahead. Yeah, we are definitely cursed. A boat! There's a boat here! A thin yet sturdy rope is hanging from the mast. Oh. Ah! It's a mummy? What the hell is this thing? I wonder if it's even alive. <laughs> well, I don't think so. Don't say stuff like that, man. Still, what the heck? I wonder if this mummy serves any purpose. It's time for me to report back. This place is starting to give me the creeps. You don't know anything about this game? Yeah, you're not alone. It's very... obscure. I can hear creaking. What... What's the point of the creaking? Oh well, I'm, I'm guessing we have to go back and tell the group about this uh, to move them forward. Make mummy jerky? I think it's already been made. Brendan better be on his way. 
Uh, a boat. Did I hear that right, Ayuro? Yeah, Brandon Frazier, right? He was the, the lead in The Mummy, yeah? What was The Mummy's name? Anux in the Moon was the chick. Who was the dude? Ankananen or something like that? A boat? Did I hear that right, Ayuto? Yeah, and not only that, but oddly enough, there is a mummy on it. Emotep, yeah, that's the one. A boat with a mummy on board. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, ha ha ha. Oh, these ruins are providing me endless entertainment and wonder. I see. This is indeed a very well-preserved mummy. Oh, by the way, as soon as I finish this little chain of dialogue, we'll go ahead and take a quick break so everyone can get a refill or do what you need to do. This is indeed a very well-preserved mummy. If we leave with just this mummy in tow, we could sell it for enough profit to live like kings for the rest of our lives. Oh, without a doubt. That reminds me, during one excavation back in my prime, I did transport a mummy out from its ruins. However, during transport, it then dis uh, succumbed to rapid decay. When exposed to air and other atmospheric changes, a mummy will undergo rapid deterioration, yet remain pristine if left untouched. Kuroe, we have not even scratched the surface of our purpose here. Ankh Moon, if you're nasty. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see, there are more secrets beyond our imagination still lying deep within these ruins. Wait, there's still more to explore? Precisely, Ayudo. We're going to take this boat and venture deeper into the unknown. While I examine this mummy for further clues, find a way to get this boat sailing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and investigate the boat, but in the meantime, we can go ahead and do a quick break um, on the stream. So I'm going to get me um, a can of that weird flower cider I got at the Korean market, and uh, I'll see you guys in about uh, four or five minutes then. And there we go. Okay, back in a second. You want cookies for stream bake, uh, but your stomach hurts? Oh no. Hug the mummy. <laughs> Spit on the mummy. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, but we'll give it a couple minutes, uh, because other people might be gone. What's flower cider? No, not flower, like baking flour. Flour isn't like flour grows outside flour. Um, Korean marketplaces, uh, sell all, uh, uh, all sorts of unique drinks. Um, I went there and got a bunch of kimchi and stuff, and they had, uh, I think, um, a cider made from mangua, mang something, which is like the national flower, which is technically some kind of hibiscus, and it's really good. And then I got this other can, um, of some other kind of flower cider, but I can't make out what it is. Um, the English part is actually, um, in Spanish or something, so I, I can't tell what kind of flower it is, so. It's pink, though. Kind of looks like sakura, or uh, cherry blossoms or something, but I'm not 100% sure. Everyone's trying to be freaky with the mummy. Y'all don't even know her name yet. Can we get to that first? Maybe take her to dinner or walk on the beach or something before we start spitting on her. <laughs> Uh, hi, I was wondering when you're going to play the New Year's Eve game. Also, how are you doing? Um, I was going to play the new, I mean, play, I was going to read the New Year's Eve party as a book on stream, but I wanted to do this quick just to get me back in the swing of things, because it, it had been a couple weeks since I spoke on stream and I tend to get tongue-tied, so, um, that's coming. I'm not sure about the New Year's Eve game, though. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that would be. 
Yeah, it was a New Year's Eve book. Yeah, sorry, I may not have been completely um, clear about that when I made that post. Yeah, so we're going to be reading it. Oh, oh my god. Let me talk about that book for a second. So, I did go ahead and pre-read it um, a little while ago. It's, it's, it's not good. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, uh, it's, it's like nothing happens until it's halfway over. And I understand that it's important to do that for revenge books, but I'm not even kidding. Just the entire first half of that book is just watching insufferable teens act like stereotypical 90s teens with each other. And then the latter half is like somebody... It's like R.L. Stein got M. Night Shyamalan to ghostwrite for him. I will leave it at that. But you guys voted for it and you are damn well getting it. <laughs> Personally, I would have gone with um, Ski Weekend, but we can do that one later. So you guys, you get ready for that. It is going to be two hours of me reading just the most insufferable 90s kids saved by the bell garbage. But you, you made your grave. Oh, are you going to play the other two games you got with Morph Girl and Horror Mansion? That's right, Football Game and Clean Suit. I'm definitely going to be playing those. Why didn't you warn us? Listen, um, the only other, uh, well, one of the only other Fear Street books I've read was incredibly good. It's called Trapped, and you may, you may see it on my channel as one of the pre-recorded books, or videos. And that one's excellent, or at least I feel it's excellent. Could be just nostalgia talking. Um, but this, I don't know what happened with this. I think he just wanted to make something New Year's themed, and so they just, it's, it's so bad, though. It's so freaking bad. I'm also having trouble finding just an easy, tense, slow burn playlist of music that isn't copyright, um, copyrighted, you know? I've got some, like, ambience that, you know, just sounds like you're outdoors on a cold, wintry night and there's a car that passes uh, quietly every now and then. I like that, but I need a little bit of music to go with it. And if I'm going to be reading for a couple hours, I kind of want to change it out randomly so the same, song, the same song doesn't just play for an hour and a half, you know? You should read the Witcher books. I don't know, I think the guy that owns the Witcher books is a little sue happy. Um, he probably wouldn't take kindly to me reading it on stream. The reason I'm reading these 90s books is because nobody really cares about them anymore, so... We chose poorly. The other book may be just as bad, but oh my god, it's bad, it's so bad. It's so bad, and the, I guess what bugs me is that I'm gonna be the one that has to speak like a 90s teenager. Oh, that boy from What's-His-Face is so dreamy. You like him, right? What? Him? No. That's like half of the book. It's, uh, it's so awful. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're, we'll, we'll get to reading that book soon enough. It is time to get back into the game. Howdy, what did you miss? Um, long story short, this crazy professor believed there is an ancient maze or whatever underneath the pyramid, and he wants to explore it, but it's full of deadly booby traps, so he snags a couple tourists to act as guinea pigs um, to keep himself safer while they explore it. We found an underground river with a boat and a mummy standing guard, and that's where we are right now. Ah, Vincent and Woodshra? Really? Okay, well, let me go ahead and copy and paste that onto my list of games real quick. There we go. I'll take a look at that in my spare time. So you listen to ambience and music, too? Yeah, there's a really nice site where you can build up your own ambience. I forget what it's called, but it's ambience something. Um, and I've got one of those saved. That's really nice. Yeah, he sued CG CD Projekt Red. He didn't have a leg to stand on, in my opinion, though. He had a choice of either getting royalties or getting a lump sum up front. He said he basically thought the game would be awful, so he took the money, and now he's really sad that the games are so successful. But I understand that they settled with him because they don't want to kill the Golden Goose, because they need him to write stuff so that they can make it into games, right? Ugh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, he was salty he didn't take the royalties. I've done commission work before where I've had to, to make specific artwork and I would always be faced with people saying, you can either have this amount of money or I'll give you like 1% of everything if this ends up getting a copyrighted or, or, you know, becomes an actual product that is built. And the ones I really, really liked, I would take the royalty on option. I mean, it may never pay out, but if you believe in it, you, you take the royalty option. If you don't believe in it, you just say, ah, I'll take the 20 bucks. Okay, um, here we go go. The river's surface appears to be calm. Ayudo, can you think of some way to get this boat moving? We're really about to sail across a subterranean river just just on, a, on an ancient pharaoh boat. That's crazy. 
Incredible. I only imagined going on an adventure and finding treasure as the stuff found in comic books. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect to be doing anything like this. Professor, I demand that you stop ordering everyone around. She is the most useless tour guide. My mind's made up. This is the scoop of the century. No doubt about it. That, that guy's just laying around constantly, that heavy guy. Oh man, is this an old game or- yeah, it's a 1998 RPG Maker. It was only translated in 2014 by a separate team. So, um, cool stuff. I, I, I've never seen anyone else talk about this or acknowledge it, even though it's really quite well made. Overweight man, silence. I, I'm trying to take a nap. Er, yeah, probably seasick. We haven't even moved yet, though. Um, could you tell me what we're doing here on this boat? I have to hand it to you, you're pretty brave, Ayudo. Hey, what, what is that supposed to mean? It means you're brave? Oh, Ayudo, now's not the time to abandon the ship. Well, I was trying to reach What's-Her-Face, the red-headed girl, but I can't really... She's just standing up there. Hmm, okay. And then the little kid is just tucked into here like a monster. Wait, is this Egyptian as in ancient Egypt, or is this game made by modern Egyptians? It's made by a Japanese guy who was entering it into a contest, but it takes place in 1998 in under the Pyramid Giza. So, J Japanese from an Egyptian setting, or modern Egyptian setting, I guess. Hey, what you doing down there? None of your beeswax. I guess she's going through that rebellious stage. You know what? Let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna push her. <laughs> Alright, let's try pushing it. So what exactly am I pushing? Oh, I can't. Shoot. Oh, well. Oh, okay. So to get the ship moving, we're just gonna have to pull this, I bet. Then yet sturdy rope. If I pull on this rope, the sail should open, I think. Alright, let's set sail. Although I can't imagine there's strong winds in an underground cave. Although, maybe the water itself generates a wind? Or is that not how that works? I mean, if the water's moving, wouldn't that kind of technically generate a bit of wind? Don't push a person. Wow. <laughs> just, just a little push. Just a little tug and... Pant. Heck yeah. Whoa. The sail puffed up, full of wind, and the boat started to move. Cool. Oh. Whoa, I almost fell off. Okay. So is there any way for me to get up there? There must be. Hey, let me go ahead and save real quick. Nope, there isn't. Okay, fine. Let's see what everyone's doing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that 500 yen back from last week. Is this really the time? Oh look, we're getting farther and farther from land. Silence. I'm trying to take a nap. I've got to get this all on film. Hey, Squirt, how did you wind up becoming a participant of this trip? Ow, ow, ow. What's wrong? My foot. I think it's stuck. Help me, mister. Of course, just hang in there, okay? What should I do? Alright, so I guess we'll just push her farther in, you know? Alright, let's try pushing it. And further in you go! Hey! Would you stop that? Are you trying to cram me inside? Uh, whoops. Trust me, that wasn't a mean thing to do when you get to know this kid. Okay, let's try pulling it. Alrighty, Squirt, I'm gonna pull you right out. Here we go, on three. No! It's my body, hands off! What? The hell, Ayudo? How dare you put your hands on a little girl? You're into that sort of stuff? Uh, are you okay, sweetie? Did he do something bad to you? I'm okay now. He's a scary bad man. You have it all wrong. I was only trying to help her. Huh, but that's not what she... Ah ha ha, Mr. a weirdo. Mr. a weirdo. <laughs> Can't believe I was just punked by that little punk. Yeah, she's, she's the true monster on this ship. <laughs> Chris Hansen comes out of the water, climbs on the ship. <laughs> But why? I don't know. Some people just like to do that. Uh, but you, but you gotta believe all women. So he is a weirdo. It's it's settled then. Ooh, breast fire. Ah oh, man, it feels good to get that off my chest. 
Shout has been added to your actions. Hmm? Whoa, that water sure is cold. Wait, water? Oh, what the hell? Why is the water rising? Maybe it's due to global warming? <laughs> this is 1998, mind you. Shut up, man. I think the boat's sinking. Ayudo. Surely you must have realized our sudden dire situation. The boat's hull must be in a shoddy state for it to be taking on water. Professor Tsuchida, why do you say things that'll send my clients into a panic? Everyone, your attention please. Everything is under control. Please remain calm. Where did we get a boat? Oh, you know, we just found it in the middle of the river. Seize your tongue, you wench. Your pitiful profession as an overpaid chaperone has no meaning here. Jeez. In this field, I am the one in charge, and I will be the one to give direction. Do you understand? I require everyone's full cooperation as of this instant. Use the small child to plug up the hole. <laughs> Just push her in. Now then, Ayudo, you have impressed me thus far. I trust you have already begun to form some ingenious plan to assist us. Um, no. We should abandon the ship and try swimming the rest of the way. Wait, no, that's a terrible idea, especially with all those strange fish out there. Man, now what? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick because we actually missed a bit of dialogue um, because I decided to interact with that little jerkwad kid. So we're gonna go ahead and just load that real quick and then I'll come right back here. Okay, so instead of talking to her, we're gonna go talk to people up here. This wind, it feels unnatural. Is it only blowing for the sole purpose of moving this boat? Did little tank top defender cause any bodily harm? That was actually our tomboy friend, um, just beating our ass despite having known us for a long time and just taking this random kid's word for it. This wind, it feels unnatural. Is it only blowing for the sole purpose of moving this boat? And no, I don't think she heard us. Uh, I could have sworn the wind was perfectly still until we boarded. Oh God, we can't go back now. Yeah, it's almost like you never should have let everyone get on the boat. Ha ha ha, Ayuda, my lad, you're wonderfully reliable. Even if we could take this mummy home and make millions, I don't think I'd want to. Alright, so, that's about it. Let's see if I can do anything with it. There's nothing to pull. Okay, we actually can't. So, back we go to the horrible crisis of us all about to die. Okay, this boat is sinking. No wonder this boat's sinking. Think about it, man. We have 11 people on this pitiful excuse for a dinghy. Oh, wait. Uh, Ayuto, maybe you should try to find some way to lighten this load. But please do something. I can't swim. Is this boat sinking for real, Ayuto? Dude, this guy's got balls of steel. The boat's going under and he's sleeping through it. Er... <laughs> Hmm, not a bad way to go. What? Why is everyone panicking? Did something happen? As long as I have my hiding spot, I'm safe. Yeah, you'll be safe at the bottom of the river. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's try shouting real quick. We just learned that um, move. Let's take a deep breath. You're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. Good job, Ayudo. That's why you're the leader. Okay. I'm so sorry, Ayudo. I can't do anything. The fog is pretty thick. I can't see anything as little as 60 feet away. Damn it, we must stay afloat until we reach shore. Alright, guys. So, the boat is sinking. We are overweighed. What are we gonna do, huh? Let's, uh, let's hear some ideas, huh? Let's see if anybody can figure it out. Roll the fat man off. I cannot gain access to the fat man, unfortunately. Hmm. Lisi Lossy. Cursory, glad to see you're still streaming. Ah, awesome. Glad to see you're still here watching the streams. Sacrifice the child. Push the fat guy off. Unfortunately, um, I don't think we can actually do that. Yeah, I can't gain access to him. It's RPG Maker. I can't look at him diagonally. <laughs> Uh-huh, somebody's got a good idea. What about the mummy? Maybe I should try throwing this mummy overboard. Judgment, yeah, exactly. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's try pushing it. It's either you or me, mummy. One of us has to drown. 
and if we drop you, the boat should get lighter. I don't really want to touch you, so I have to kick you out instead. May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. Where did we get that mummy? Oh, it was just chilling here before we even got on the boat. It's really unfair when you think of it. He was here first for, you know, thousands and thousands of years, and then we just come on and kick him off. Farewell. Little did he know that was the captain of the boat. <laughs> oh yeah, that was just a poor hollow, you know? He's gone. He was a bit lighter than I thought. So that did absolutely nothing, by the way. Hooray. I see what you were thinking. You were trying to drop any unnecessary weight to make the boat lighter. Well, not bad in theory, but absolutely meaningless in practice. Huh? An average human being is compo uh, composed up to of up to 60% water. However, mummies are drained of all this and other bodily fluids during treatment. They have next to no weight. How do you feel, Ayudo? To know all you have done is invoke the mummy's wrath. <laughs> Still no sign of land. Yeah, everyone's just like, shoot. I'm getting a bit sleepy. Enjoy your eternal slumber. <laughs> God, Ayudo. Huh, not a bad way to go. Okay, that's the same. Yeah, I can swim, but that's beside the point. Oh, please, God. Hey, why don't we just leave those who can swim... Why don't we just have those who can swim get off this boat and swim to shore? Am I smart or am I smart? You idiot, what about the monstrous fish in the river? Alright, well, we're screwed. 100%. It's that mummy. Huh? What in the... It sank again. Whoa! Oh no, Ayudo! He fell in? Damn! Could it be because of that tremor? I don't see him surfacing. No way. He's gotta be okay. He's a pretty good swimmer, right? Glub. <laughs> What's that in the distance? I gotta swim away and fast. It's him! The Thy audacity lay bare to judge. What? All right, here we go. So we're choking currently. We don't even have health. We're just flat out cho choking. Um, no good. I can't escape. Uh, okay. Push, I guess? It's ineffective. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to fight. So my agility's down, but I don't think we had any to begin with. Recruit him? No, you can't. That'd be great, but you can't. He's a little too, a little too um, salty about us kicking him overboard for that. Oh, we leveled up too. Cool. It hurts to breathe. Damn, starting to black out. He make it? He'll recover. We should let him rest. I can hear voices talking. Have you tried fighting underwater? Impossible. <laughs> yeah, you'd need a knife or a spear gun or something. What on earth just happened? Achoo! Okay, that's something he said. Settle down there, Ayudo. Are you doing alright? Are you hurt? Where am I? What happened? You idiot, I thought you said you were good at swimming, not drowning. If me and Ichikawa hadn't jumped in after you, you'd be sleeping with the fishes. Eh? Is that so? Well, uh, thanks. Sorry for the trouble, Kyosuke. You too. Thanks, Nye. Uh, well, don't mention it. It was nothing. Anyway, luck's on our side now. We've made... Wait, what about that mummy? Come again? You know, that mummy? He tried to kill me? Mummy? What the hell are you talking about, Ayuto? I'm being serious here, guys. It was him. When I fell in and started choking, that mummy suddenly grabbed me and started attacking. As I was shaking him off, he gripped my neck and... Damn, man. He must have had one heck of a dream while you were out. Out cold. It's true. Ah, uh, there, there, Ayudo. You're safe now. 
Yeah, so maybe it was just some kind of hallucination uh, brought on by drowning, huh? How are you panting underwater? I mean, you can pant underwater, it's just not a good idea. Let's see. Was all that just a dream? No way, that's just what Kyosuke said. That feeling when the mummy was holding me under, I can still feel his clammy grip on me. Then he wrapped his hands around my neck, trying to crush my windpipe. Ugh, makes me shudder. That, that mummy, was he really moving? Because I acted without proper respect? No way, that can't be. Hmm, Naido, it is not unusual for the brain to trigger hallucinations while drowning. I am most pleased to see you are well. Come, look over here. It's nice that we still have our baseball cap as well. <laughs> The hieroglyphic text on this door read, The Hall of Mat. The Hall of what? To simply put, Ayuto, this place is also known as the Hall of Two Truths. This is where the judgment of the dead was performed in the afterlife. The hell? Try saying that all again, but make some sense this time. I don't remember addressing you, boy. Very well, I'll tell you in layman's terms. Beyond this door is where the dead come to be judged so they can reach Aru, their heaven. However, those who fail judgment will have their heart eaten and will be wiped from existence. I would say your sin, my boy, is your complete and utter rudeness. I bet your heart would taste delicious. <laughs> the fuck? Yo, Gramps, you want to have a throwdown? Would you prefer your burial at land or sea? That's enough, Kyosuke. The cap is glued to his head to hide the bald spot. <laughs> uh. Um... Doesn't this all seem awfully dangerous? Ho oh, ho, don't worry about a single thing, lass. All of this is nothing more than religious text. I think our dear lad Ayudo has received enough judgment today for all of us. <laughs> I'm just busting his chops, of course. Well, one mystery has been solved thus far. That what we just cross is what they call the River of Death, the River Styx. So you mean this is the river where the dead would cross over? To the afterlife, yes. And here we are in front of the Hall of Mott. In other words, we have arrived at an underground ruin made to fit the ancient Egyptian mythological views of the afterlife. Hmm, what wonders that only ancient Egypt could give lie in wait? Sounds like we've made a groundbreaking discovery. Huh? Are we missing a couple of people? The professor went three of us to survey ahead while you were unconscious. He did? Hey, wait a moment. You got hurt last time, you still want to keep going, or... Er, you got hurt last time, you still want to keep doing this unnecessary reckless job? Unnecessary? Reckless? I just so happen to like this job, and I feel like I'm Indiana Jones going on a brand new adventure. It makes me feel awesome, and you still want to say I'm being reckless? How about stupid? Look, Ayudo, I don't know when you'll wind up getting hurt or even killed. Okay, and that is that. Let's see. Don't tempt him, old man. <laughs> Ayuto should just say, fuck it, I'm out of this. Yeah, the problem is, with the boat sunk, there really is no way back at this point. It's the point of no return. Dude just said the mummy tried to kill him, and this came out, uh, and this came with this BS of all religious stuff. Yeah. Yeah, nobody seems to believe him. Let's see. But Styx is Greek, right? I was about to say that too, but I'm pretty sure Egypt and Greece kind of traded and existed around the same time, right? Yeah, sure enough, somebody's saying Cleopatra was Greek, even though the Great Pyramids were built way before her. Yeah, I've seen that little factoid where it's like, did you know that we were closer to Cleopatra's time alive than Cleopatra was close to the Great Pyramids being built? So the, Egypt, uh, the Egyptian Empire seems to span a long, long... Uh, long amount of time. Iota's full name is Iota Indiana Jones, Lara Croft, Nathan Drake. Alright, let's see here. I know, I know, Iota. You love exploring! That is a hundred dollars, and that can't be right. Joe Pinzone, uh, so glad I made it to your stream, albeit late. Just finished your Lakeview Valley stream and love your vibe. Stay awesome. Oh god, what have you done? That is a hundred dollars. Oh boy, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much. Uh, if you just arrived, I can give you a little recap. Um, crazy Professor and his assistant, um, 
are under the belief that there is a series of passages and maybe even a tomb underneath the Pyramid of Giza. So they go off and blow a hole in it, um, unbeknownst to all the authorities, and trying to explore it, there's a bunch of deadly traps, and they're like, no way, we're not gonna die to this. So they snag ten dumb tourists to come down and, you know, be basically be the guinea pigs. Um, so, yeah, multiple endings. People may or may not die. Uh, you can't always save everyone. That is the premise. Thank you for that. hundred dollars. Still donating to charity? Or Yeah, yeah. I've still gotta donate that portion to charity. I just need to find a good one. I mean, the Australian one is good. I guess I could do that. I need to post the receipts, too. I'll go ahead and put them in a community post as soon as I do that. God. Thank you for that, Joe. Really appreciate it. Cleopatra existed not long after Alexander conquered and died. Egypt was ruled by Greeks, and she was related to uh, Ptolemy. I've heard that. I've heard that there were not only Greek pharaohs, but there were pharaohs um, of people related from uh, people descended from Africa. Like I, I know there were Greek pharaohs and also African pharaohs, from what I've heard. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, Egypt got ruled by a lot of people over time. Okay, okay, here we go. The boat is 100% uh, foobard. We are not getting back on that. Right now, we're smack dab in the middle of an unbelievable mess. It's tough trying to remain calm, you know? I mean, damn, this world has all kinds of crap you wouldn't expect. What are we supposed to be doing here? What do we do now, you know? I don't fucking know. With the boat sinking, we really can't turn back, can we? She's right, this is pretty bad. This is quite troublesome. Can you hurry up and get us home? I want to get a good night's sleep. Yeesh, that guy. Ayoto, I want to sincerely, uh, sincerely apologize. I realize that relying on you too much is unfair. You just had a huge boost in your career and want to donate to your favorite content creators. Well, that's amazing. I'm glad your career is doing very well. That's good news for the new year. Hopefully it's a fulfilling and fun job as well. Oh, what's that? You don't mind it at all? Good show of sportsmanship, my lad. But I didn't say anything. You're injured. Here, let me take a look. Hmm, thankfully it doesn't look that bad. I'll smear some of this uh, styptic uh, gel on it and you should be good to go, Ayudo. I've heard of that. Isn't there like a little pen that's called like styptic pen or something like that? And you, you put it on wounds and it's supposed to kind of disinfect them? I, I never hear it mentioned. Oh no, maybe it was supposed to um, cause clotting, I think. You don't see that mentioned much. Isn't it actually kind of dangerous to cause clotting or something? I don't know. What? What is it with you and the what's? Alright, we can't go that way, so... Alright, we're gonna go ahead and save and see what fresh hell awaits us. Fat man, you've been sleeping the whole time. Yes, he has. <laughs> yeah, no worries if you don't have money. Don't worry about it. I'm doing just fine. Um, for a hobby, this is actually doing pretty well. It's actually really close to being on the level of my old job. So, there's that. Uh, never work in fraud. Uh, or do. It is a fun job. It's just... Depending on the, the center, the pay isn't great. Ayudo, you're up, man. What a relief. Yeah. Ah, uh, Ayudo, are you feeling all right? It tightens the wound, does it? I wonder how it does that. The Nubians conquered Egypt for a while. The Kush, I think, were the name of the people who conquered the Egypts. Yeah, there's a, there's a line of thought saying, hey, they weren't white, they were black. And it's like, well, some of the pharaohs were black, but I, I think uh, the black ones were technically from, from the areas in and around Africa. The Egyptians themselves were like a mix of, like, what, Persian and something? So, I, Ayudo, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I guess so. I'm truly sorry. If only I were more apt if only I were a more apt tour guide, this would never have happened. Yeah, I don't know how you let us all get on that boat, to be honest. This isn't your fault, Miss uh Oh, did I fail to introduce myself? I thought I did back at the airport. Maybe you did, I must have forgotten. It's Say Otogi. Ring a bell? Sai, I'm sure. Uh oh yeah, Miss Otogi. I remember now. I'm sorry, I'm just terrible with names. I can sympathize. Ah, don't worry about it. Would you mind if I lend you my assistance as well? Huh? You mean as part of the exploration party? Exactly what I meant. I cannot sit idly by while you're met with such a risky task. This is great. I can ride on Miss Ot Otogi. Otogi. Mm. To assist me from now on. Alright, so tour guide. Cool. It's mostly aluminum sulfate. Huh. Watch where you're going, Squirt. M Mister, you won't b believe what I just saw. What is it? I saw something moving down there. It was going to attack me. We can't have that now, can we? 
Don't worry, Squirt. Uncle Ayuda will help keep you safe from home. Uh, will keep you safe from harm. Man, why am I misreading everything? I have this weird theory that when I see really pixelated letters, my brain just has extra trouble with them. Egypt is the longest lasting empire as long as you ignore the fact they change owners every other week. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know. <laughs> I think I see something. Oh, yeah. The name's not Squirt, it's Rin. Hehe, <laughs> have a nice trip. A fucking little murderer. That's so freaking dangerous. Aye, aye, aye. Oh man, that stings. Landed smack down on my face, too. Yeah, this is no dream. Dreams usually don't hurt this bad. <laughs> this guy can't catch a break. I would hate to go down a flight of like eight stone steps. Like, these aren't carpeted stairs or wood stairs, these are stone stairs. We need to drag Winterin back to the boat and chuck her in with the water, uh, with the mummy. Well, don't worry, we'll get back at her soon enough, I promise that. Hmm, these chambers are most remarkable in their attention to detail, planning, and fine craftsmanship. Everyone, take all of this in. Breathe it. Feel <laughs> Breathe it, he says. Isn't there like a booby trap um, in real life where they've coated the floor with some kind of powder that is poisonous or something? I'm sure someone in the comments knows more about that. Breathe it. Feel it. This is the pinnacle of architecture. This is what their ancient civilization has achieved. Can you believe this entire structure lies directly underneath the river of death? You mean the river is right above us? Sounds crazy, but he's probably right. Considering how we just crossed it, it's very likely that the river is above us. But what does that mean? Well, I guess what it all boils down to is that this is an overall impressive achievement. By the way, Professor, any idea what the hieroglyphs on the wall say? Those graphics are giving you off vibes? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm so sad that this hasn't gotten more recognition, but the good news is, if I play it, I'm sure somebody else looking for content is going to see it and say, ooh, free RPG Maker horror game, and play it too, and then everybody will know about it. Turn Max Waifu into a mummy. <laughs> By the way, Professor, any idea what the higher... Oh, I already read that. Uh, hmm, here is the gist of what it says. The blameless one shall guide you to the true path. Something to that effect. Eh? What does all that mean? See the statue here resembling a little boy? I believe it is made out of bronze. Yeah, it really sticks out in this- Actually, I hadn't even noticed the freaking statue. I just thought it was another sprite from the tourists. Uh, it really sticks out in this room. Kind of hard not to notice it. It looks like a child pointing. What could he be pointing at? Could it be this child statue is pointing us toward the true path as inscribed in the hieroglyphs? You see, according to the ancient Egyptians, children are considered blameless, the very concept of tabula rasa, or blank slate. But we have undeniable proof right here that children are demon spawns. <laughs> neener, neener, neener. It's your fault for being so stupid. Why, you little... Whatever, I'm just gonna pretend you don't exist from now on. Ayudo, she's just a kid. She kicked us down the stairs. She's old enough to know that could seriously hurt somebody. Oh, and she made a joke out of accusing someone of, of grabbing her. Hey, you, come on, say something. Yeah, see, she's just out for attention. It bugs her when nobody acknowledges her. That's in Buddhism, too, the blank slate. Really? Huh. She just runs straight into a trap. Ha, huh, looks like I won that round. You won nothing, you jerk. You made her run off on her own. Listen, stop blaming him for her. Don't don't you realize how dangerous that is? Hurry up and bring her back. How about you run off of her? You know where you uh you run after her, play nanny all you want. Ah, uh, that kid bugged me so bad the first time I played this. Why are you invading my personal space? Alas, your words cut deep like a double-edged sword. However, go away. <laughs> you don't receives damage. Did she act? She damaged us. What the heck? Let's see. Do I look like I have a death wish? Oh, two can play at that game. All right, let's try pushing it. There's no reason to push that. Fine, fine. Why are we a punching bag? Sacrifice everyone. You know what? Okay, so this is gonna be the first time where somebody dies. So you guys need to decide if we wanna do an all death run or a save everyone run. I plan to do both. It may be better to do the worst one first because then we'll end it on a high note. 
Um, but yeah, I'll put the I'll put the question to you. That girl, a shame she's too young. What? I probably shouldn't say that out loud. I think he's trying to say I like her spirit, but it really just comes out a little weird. That girl, was she always a part of our tour? You didn't notice her till now? Aren't you the one conducting this tour? <laughs> Judgment. Yeah. You're injured. Here, let me take a look. Hmm, thankfully it doesn't look that bad. Okay, yeah, there we go. It appears we are left with no other option. We're counting on you, Ayudo. Frickin' uh Where are her parents? It's a bronze statue of a child. It seems to be pointing straight ahead. That brat's nothing but trouble, eh, Udo? Megalovania sound and let the game begin. Uh, yeah, no mercy run. Yeah, see, Kyosuke knows what's up. He's like, that brat, brat's nothing but trouble. Meanwhile, Nai over here is like, oh, it's your fault. Don't be mean to her. I was also a little fibber when I was a kid, Ayudo. So please, find it in your heart to forgive her, okay? Well, she has to learn that lying isn't okay, otherwise she'll become like a, just a serial liar. That's what happens when you don't punish kids for doing nasty stuff. That kid sure is lively. What a waste of energy. Yeah, she should have spent it all on being lazy instead, like you. Uh, so everybody is insufferable. Go figure. Time to go die, I guess. Just fight everybody in the group. Okay, so we can go two ways. Ugh. And we are now fighting a frog, although I think that's actually a toad, but whatever. Oh, I should recruit somebody, actually, to help me with the fights. The one criticism I have for this game is I understand why they did it, but I don't really like that there are random battles. I think it would have actually been a little bit better without the battles, you know what I mean? I mean, like, the key battles, the boss battle's fine, but I don't really want to hit something every five seconds. Okay, who are we going to recruit, guys? We have a choice between the tour guide, Sai. We have a choice between Nei and Kiyosuke. Who do you guys want in the team? Let me take a sip of this whatever it is. I can't read Korean. Tank top defender. Alright, so that's one vote for tank top defender. Tour guide, tank top lord, kills game. Alright, tank top lord is, is the running favorite of the game. Your best friend? There we go. He's got a bandage around his head, too. Like, in 90s and 80s anime, everybody was always wearing a headband, so... He's automatically a cool guy. Tour waifu. Yeah, alright, so left or right? Let's just check left really quick. I don't think there's any penalty for this, but might as well see, right? And there's no real reason to explore too much, because there aren't any items that you can get. Okay, so we have a choice between going down that path and going down that path. So... The statue is pointing to this path here. You wear one when you play a fighting game? You can't help yourself? What is good? I always wear one just to keep the hair out of my face, to be honest, so I can't fault you there. Child statue. So it's pointing here. Let's just, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be a dead end, but, you know, it's kind of teaching you to trust the statue, etc. If you don't pay attention and you don't listen to what he said about the statues, you're going to have a hard time. Yeah, see? So, dead end. The headband covers the lobotomy scar. Yeah, <laughs> uh, an asp. Are asps still around? I never hear about them. Are they one of those... extinct snakes? All right, so we're leveling up. Cool. The statue is of an expressionist little boy creepily pointing at something. Oh? If I crouch down here, I think I'll be able to squeeze through to the other side. Crouch has been added to your actions. Who's that Pokemon? Asps aren't extinct, just not native to the US. Yeah, I never hear about them though. Like, I hear about anacondas, I hear about vipers, about cobras. Nobody ever talks about the asps. I assume they're poisonous, right? Isn't that what Cleopatra used, um, theoretically? I have a feeling though, um, looking into it, she may have been epstein if you know what I mean. But supposedly she grabbed an asp and killed herself out of embarrassment or something when they got invaded or something like that. Black Mamba, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and save here. Phew, you're okay. Mister, I found something. 
What is it? I found the true path. Where? It's on the other side of this wall. I swear it will lead us forward. Uh-huh. Say what? Ah, you think I'm lying. I don't know, but what you say makes no sense. So what's next? Are you going to claim you're some sort of psychic child prodigy? No, I'm not. Looky here, looky here. Rin pointed near her feet at the basalt floors. What's this? There's some long scratch marks in the flooring, like something was dragged. Right there beside the wall. Do you see it? Do you see it? See, uh, what exactly? Who are you trying to fool anyways? Okay, there are some scrapes on the floor, so what? Huh? None of you can see it? That is a loud siren. Hope everybody's okay. I've had enough. Then you're gonna say, oh, this moron can't see what's right in front of his face. Screw that. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. You know, I'm not stupid. I also see there are some stairs leading deeper into these ruins. I already checked there. It's a dead end. Ugh, come on, man. I've heard enough crap from this lying little punk. You need a man up and quit getting played like this. Well, yeah, he has been kind of a, kind of a sponge lately. Now that I think about it, this statue, isn't it also pointing towards this wall? All right, so we need to examine things very closely in this room, all right? Hopefully the resolution is good, but if you look at the very base, uh, the very feet of the statue, what do you see? What do you see at the statue's feet? Let me take a drink of something. Oh, and if you know the answer because you've played this before, don't say anything. I want to see if people can figure out what she's done in this room, or what's happened in this room. The <laughs> fax machine. Investigate the wall. All right, let's have a look at the wall. No matter how I look at it, all I see are scratch marks. Damn, it got punked again. I was going to give her the benefit of the doubt, too. So let's examine the statue, then. The statue does show signs of being moved. Maybe somebody was here before and messed around with it. Yeah, if you look at the bottom of the statue, you'll see like a swirly drag mark as if it's been turned to point at the wall. Yep, so she, so somebody, maybe her, pointed the statue at the wall, right? Well, no, duh, Ayudo, that pint-sized terror turned it around to make us look like it's facing the wall to trick us. Probably thought she got the best of me, but I won't get fooled again. All right, so we can't actually, you know, do anything with the wall, so. I'm serious, mister. If you smash this wall, like, blam, it'll fall apart and you'll see what I mean. Pretty sure my fist would break first. Yeah, so we can't exactly punch the wall. Man, getting constantly tricked like this is taking me back to my grade school days. All right. So... Guess we'll go down? What do you guys think? How were the scratch marks made, though? Yeah, I don't know how the scratch marks got near the wall, but it does look like the scratch marks are on the statue to make it point. It, clearly, it was pointing left originally, and then it's, you know. Do it. Check to the left, the right and left walls of the statue. Okay, we'll have a look. Nope, nothing here. I'll check in the cardinal directions. Go down, all right. Well, we gave her the benefit of the doubt. I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. Well, uh, I guess we could push. There's no reason to push that. Yeah. All right. And she did throw us down the stairs and joke about us being a molester. So, I mean, I'm not really giving her too much of the, you know. It really is a dead end. Why? Why won't anyone believe- it? maybe because you always fucking lie. Sniff. Is it because I like to make up stories that may have something to do with it? No, everybody else is just like daddy. No one cares about me. I don't get it. Does everyone hate me? Because I tend to lie? Lying is a dangerous thing. So is pushing people down the stairs. Huh? Are these scratch marks? So this figure was moved, too. Eek! What was that? That sounded like Rin. Now what? Is that brat trying to screw with us again? Quit that, Kyosuke. We have to go check on her. Whoa! The heck was that? <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's a little late for Rin. The wall. Wait, what's with all this blood? No, it can't be Rin's. Yeah, just in case you thought maybe they wouldn't kill the child. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, now. Nah, we'll wait. No, Rin. No way, what the hell's going on? Oh, she's still alive! Well, that's... Rin! Hang in there, I'll figure out a way to free you. Oh my god, there's so much blood. Uh. Rin, you, you were telling the truth from the start. I'm so sorry, I admit it. I was wrong. Please open your eyes. Come on, please. She gets up. She's like, punked again, bitch! <laughs> Just runs. Ayuto, I'm sure you are already aware, but as a doctor, I have to declare her dead. Even if I tried, there's a little I could do. This was a fatal wound. She would have been dead from blood loss shortly after the statue's arm was removed, so we killed her by pulling the arm out of her chest. Uh, yes, free her. Pull the thing out of the hole in her chest that is keeping her alive. <laughs> so, really, we got the last laugh there. Still, I am racked with guilt. There had to be something I could have done. My apologies, I said too much. Thy fallacious, uh, falla... I've seen this word, but I've never said it out loud. So it basically means dishonesty. Fallaciousness. Fallaciousness. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Lay bare to judge. What was that? Thy fallaciousness lay bare to judge. Look, lad, it's written clear as day here in blood. Ah, how come I didn't notice that sooner? Yeah, sure enough, there are hieroglyphic uh, hieroglyphics written in blood. Ah. Um, but what does it mean? Wait, fallaciousness? Doesn't that mean to be deceived or misled? According to ancient Egyptian beliefs, anyone found guilty of perjury back then was punished far more harshly than what we do now to, uh, do to now, uh, than what we do now to criminals this generation. Ergo, this poor child's crime was judged by the principles established by the ancient Egyptians. Hold on a sec, guys. I'm shocked Ayuto hasn't realized this yet. That that statue, it moved on its own, and then it killed her. Am I the only one bothered by this crap? Statues don't just move on their own, do they? Hmm, how strange and most unusual. Where we stand now is not only one of the seven wonders of the world, but one of the one with a secret so damning that it will stop at nothing less than killing to keep that information in the dark. I suppose it wouldn't be too far off to say that we all have reached the afterlife. Professor... You know what? Forget it. Honestly, nothing you say surprises me anymore. Could she be saved? Tell you what, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, I'm thinking first we'll go for everybody dead, and then next we'll go for mostly everybody alive. Because you can't save everyone. Forget it. Honestly, nothing you say surprises me anymore. You've been completely off your rocker ever since you found these chambers, haven't you? Okay, I'll be the first to admit this is the sort of place where I'd expect to see ghosts appear and mummies walking about. But why did a statue of all things have to target Rin for... Seriously, guys, who here hasn't told a lie at least once in their lifetime? Although you raise a good point, tell me, which of these is truly the more heinous crime? Telling a lie or having no one left who trusts you? Eh, that is a good point. If you lie so much that nobody believes you, that's worse than telling one lie. Eh. What? As long as you continue to trust the shepherd girl who, tr who cries wolf, then perhaps she will not get eaten by said wolves. That is a good point, too, as well. Now then, Ayudo. <laughs> well, you see, Rin was a punk. <laughs> good one. Uh, now then, Ayudo. Yeah? Since this last gave her life to open the true path before us, you will continue your surveying, won't you? What? Is now really the time or place? Now is as good a time as any. As good a time as any? The heck does he mean by that? Someone amongst us died. Rince was once a living, breathing person. Her corpse is a constant reminder of that sad fact. But why does death suddenly get my adrenaline pumping? Damn it, I don't even know what's going on anymore. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save in a new file. Let's see if we can save Rin. 
just for funsies. Uh, I think we'll continue on this path, but it couldn't hurt just to look around. Okay, guys, so you have, you know, access to all we know, same as I do. What should we try doing? If you know the answer, like, because you've played it before, don't, don't say, but, you know, let's get some spitballing here. <laughs> Spit on the child. I'm gonna try that real quick. Matui. Yeah, no, that did not help. Move the statue? Okay, should we push or pull it? What do you think? Uh, I guess push? Alright, let's try pushing it. There's no reason to push that. Let's try pulling it. What am I trying to pull? A leg muscle? Yeah, can't push or pull the statue. I'll try it from a different angle, just in case. There's no reason to push that. Yeah. Pull on its finger. <laughs> Insta-death. Yeah, that didn't work either. Pull the statue from the direction of the marks. Yeah, that would be this direction. Pulling did nothing, I'm afraid. Push the wall, okay. There's no reason to push that. Do that in another one. We're absolutely gonna save her in the next run. Shout to the little girl. Shout. Let it all out. All right, let's take a deep breath. Today's a good day to be me. It's good to be Big G. That's gonna be the last thing she's ever gonna hear before she dies. Uh, shout at the wall. Will do. I don't really feel like scaring everyone. Fusrota. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a tip. There is something we learned recently that's gonna show us the answer. Think about it. What could she be seeing that we don't see? Her being a kid and all. Big G. I assume it means big gangsta. I don't know. Recruiter? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Don't waste. No. Okay. Um. Uh, Rin. There's no time for that. Yep, yeah, can't do it. Crouch. That's a good point. Okay, let's crouch down here. Let's crouch down here to take a better look at these scratches. Hmm? These scratches? Hey, what's this? It's another statue. When did this get here? It's of a little boy, too, with his finger to his lips and everything. Exactly the same as the others. Wait, he's pointing to this wall as well? So this, this is what Rin saw. When I look at this standing up, all I can see are scratches. But if you look at it from an angle, you can finally see the bigger picture. Now I get it. Naturally, because Rin's so short, she was able to notice this. Nah, let's not kid ourselves. It's because she's a blameless one, a child who can see the truth. Sorry, Rin, I should have... <laughs> what the heck? And there you have it. So, we will save this for the good run, where we try to do our best. But yeah, most of these people, there is a way to save them. Okay, uh, not this time, though. We're going for horror here. Let's not kid ourselves. Oh, that's a good one. Don't fret over the child's death, Ayudo. I need you to focus on surveying. How can he be so calm about this? It's almost like he was expecting her to die. Yeah, it's almost like this is filled with traps. Ayudo, listen to me. You're not at fault here. I mean, we kind of are, technically. Th this is all a dream, right? Yo, man, aren't you freaking out at all about this? A bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, just a teeny bit. Then why are you still kissing that bald freak's ass? This place ain't no joke. You need to cut the cord, man. I keep forgetting that Kyosuke hates being scared. I mean, to be honest, though, there's no way but forward. Unless you're gonna try and swim that river, which is, you know, a couple hundred feet long, there's no way. Kill the redhead in both runs. <laughs> you honestly could and nothing would change. But, um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to be real careful not to over... Shoot. Oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna have to be very careful not to over overlap that first one. Actually, let me do something real quick. I'm gonna save it in one other place. I'm gonna save it here in three. That way if I accidentally overwrite it, it won't matter. Okay, there we go. But she has Sundere energy. You're actually very right. 
when you learn more about her. Okay, oh, you know what? I should probably team up with somebody. Um... Okay, so here we go again. Do you guys want to go with a headband some more, or a tank top some more? Or do you want to try the girl childhood friend, or do you want to try the tour guide? <sighs> one is saved, two is death? Yeah, one is where we haven't screwed anything up, two is where we're on the worst path, and three is the backup of save one. Childhood friend? <laughs> Spit on everything with him? We'll do the childhood friend just for a little bit. Oh, there's no time for that. Okay, well, it was a false choice. Just like a telltale game. Ooh, sorry. Okay. So looking a bit better. Oh, this one. You guys are gonna have fun with this one. There is an opportunity for somebody else to die here. If you think you know what's going on and or how to save them, speak up quick. This door seems awfully heavy. If we don't figure out how to open this door and fast, we can't move forward. Maybe I can try sliding it open? Uh, there. Gag. Wretch, cough, cough. Pant, wheeze. What the heck? Almost inhaled some of that poisonous gas back in there. Exhale. Nothing I can do about it right now. Time to go call everyone here. I hope it's the redhead kid that can die here. We'll just have to find out who's gonna get it, who's next. Hmm, I see. So they laid a noxious gas trap in wait for grave robbers and other similar intruders. I'm hardly surprised. I anticipated we'd run into a few hiccups down here. A child is dead. That is not a hiccup. There must be another way. I saw a door on the opposite side of the gas chamber. You mean to say you actually went inside to check? Ayudo, tell me, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling okay, I think. If you do not save the redhead in both runs, we're gonna have some issues. Yeah, don't worry, we're gonna save everyone possible in the next run. The good run. Hmm, in that case, it is a slow-acting toxin. We should be able to press on by holding our breath and running through to the other door. I beg your pardon? Why are we constantly endangering ourselves? I am at my wit's end. I want to go home. Don't you all see what happened to that, that poor girl? How can you all act so casual about this? Yoko. <laughs> he calls her Yo-Yo. Her name is Yoko, my dude. It was an unfortunate accident for that child. Furthermore, just how can we head back? We have no other option but to move forward. Ah, this is cruel. Please try to understand, lass. I personally did not want any of this to happen. Hmm? You there. You're looking quite pale. Is there something you wish to add? Huh? No, I just want to get some sleep, that's all. Yawn. You heard the man. Let's keep moving and get out of this wretched place. Anyone who has lost their nerve like a certain someone here should subsequently get out of our way. Eh? You want to say that again, punk? Eep, what's your problem? <laughs> I... I knew this would happen. Kyosuke, heal. Sit, boy. Sit, stay, good boy. He actually did say that. I was joking when I said that. And then the necklace drags him to the floor. What the hell, man? You're okay now, Yo-Yo. Just stick close to me. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be fine. Jeez, whenever it comes to Yoko, this guy sees red in a flash. Regardless, it would be extremely risky for all of us to enter at once. We should proceed two people at a time. Another thing, we cannot afford to leave this door open. It must be shut immediately after to enter after you enter to prevent the toxic gas from spilling outside the gas chamber. Once you make it to the other end of the gas chamber, open that door and close it immediately afterward. Do I make myself clear? Stop! Lass! It's that girl. I have a really bad feeling about this. Ayudo! Ah, all that planning thrown straight out the window. Hang on. Cough, heck, she looks so pained. It's almost as if she wanted to die in here. Go away! We should first figure out how to open the door on the other side. It looks like she has something to say. She can't say it, though, because you can't breathe in the gas. This door, why won't it budge? It's no use. This darn door won't move an inch. Uh... 
Maybe we can recruit someone. Oh my... I don't... Yeah, I, I don't know if our health is going down or not, actually. Um, recruit Nay. There's no time for that. Okay, what do you guys think we should do? Can't breathe. Hang on. What should we do, guys? We should first figure out how to open the door on the other side. Not good. Looks like she's in a lot of pain. Push? Alright, let's try it. Alright, let's try pushing it. Mm, it won't budge. Damn it, please someone help us. Any other ideas, guys? Check the other door, perhaps? Well, we took too long. <laughs> First death of the run, but that's okay. Oh, don't tell me. Alright, fine, fine, we're just gonna go real quick. Shout. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and... The problem was, it launched right into this situation, didn't give me time to really save. Cut the body and hide inside of it. <laughs> Spit on her. We can only do that when we have tank top. At least we can skip through it pretty quickly. At least we got to see the fat guy get knocked uh, onto the ground again. Alright. Suck the air out of her to use as your own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Okay, so somebody says pull on this door. What am I trying to pull? Okay, that didn't work. I guess we'll try pushing too, yeah? There's no reason to push that. We'll try shouting, I guess. Let's take a deep breath. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh god, it was insta-death. No! <laughs> okay, if we kill her, do we get more air? <laughs> All right, let's try that one more time. <laughs> I can't believe they did that. I'm so glad they programmed that in to be instant death. His last words were, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> so good job, whoever suggested shouting in there. Okay, here we go. Any other ideas, guys? Can you push on her neck? Alright, we'll try pushing and pulling the, the kid. What am I trying to pull? Okay, that doesn't work. Kill her, save the air. Pull door from the side? Uh... Okay, now we can do it, I think. Oh, there we go. That was the solution all along. It was just a pull door, not a push door. <laughs> the door, it actually opened? Isn't it nice how simple that was? That was a close call. I just realized that I, I risked my own life in there. I could have been dead. I wonder if Ayuto and the others managed to cross safely. They should have, uh, they should have as long as they held their breath. Should we start crossing in pairs? Yes, that'd pose the least amount of danger. Listen up, I need you all to grab yourself a partner and form a line. Shit, man, you already said that once before, so stop treating us like we're dumb. Old farts like him love to hear themselves talk. Pisses me off. Let's get moving already. I think we'll go to through the three hour mark. That'll be in about 40 minutes. Maybe, maybe a little bit earlier, but we'll try to go for another half hour, I say. And we died three times because we didn't know it was a pull door. I love that, don't you? Oh, do I? Listen here, boy. Even I can't say what dangers we will be facing. What I can tell you, though, is what this message written in hieroglyphics here says. The calm shall pass unharmed. <laughs> well, I guess we weren't very, uh, very calm, were we? Joe, uh, getting dinner. Awesome. Have a good time. Oh, we'll catch you up when you come back. Ah. Uh? Tell me now, what is your degree in, boy? Shall we start bowing to your expertise from here on out? Thought so. Maybe you should learn to cool your head every now and then, Kyosuke. Cool my head? Do I look like a freaking monk? Hey, hang in there for us. Why? Why would she see, uh, carelessly throw away her life like that? Mm. Is she coming too? It looks like she's having a nightmare. Takashi. Huh? What's that sound? 
Leave a note saying, pull, don't push. Phew. Damn it, that was too close. Stupid door opens inward instead of outward. That was intense. Hey, it's that insane chick. Why the hell did she run off alone? Jesus, it's like she wanted to die. While I can't think of a single reason she would want to do something so rash, was it just me, or did she seem awfully calm when she ran inside that chamber? It's as if she didn't care whether she died. Huh. Come to think of it, yeah. Isn't that strange? Think about it. How many teenagers do you know who would travel around the world on their own? Huh? Yeah, thinking about it, it seems kind of odd to me. After all, the four of us came here together. Yeah, you catch my drift. I don't think it's really that common for someone our age to travel alone, much less come to a faraway place like this. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, that was... that certainly was unpleasant. Oh, my dear Miss Otogi. I have to say, I never thought I would see that side of you. <laughs> oh, hey, Ayuto, are you and the other kiddos doing okay? Yeah, we're all okay here. Uh, excuse me? Hmm? What's up? Did you travel all this way on your own? Yeah, you know, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I'm a cameraman, and, as such, I came to Egypt on my lonesome to take some great photographs. Do you really think I'd want to foot the bill for someone to leech off of my pre uh, pleasure cruise? This way, my profit margins are much higher. <laughs> this guy certainly is fearless. Alright, so maybe it's not strange for a grown man to be on his own, but that girl's clearly our age. Is it even possible for a teenager like her to afford a trip to Egypt on her own? Hey, Miss Otogi? Uh, Earth to Miss Otogi? Y yes, what is it, Ayuto? Did she travel here alone? Who? Oh, my bad, I was just wondering, uh, did this red-headed girl, uh, red-haired girl take a trip out to Egypt on her own? Oh, you mean Miss Shinoda? Ah, uh, is that her name? Yes, her name is Miss Sayori Shinoda. I believe something came up at the last minute with her. She booked her flight and tour with one other person. However, the day before they were supposed to disembark, she canceled the trip and later changed it to just herself. So, she originally wanted to travel here with a friend. A uh, boyfriend, perhaps? Hmm, I can't say. It'd be unbecoming of me as a tour guide to gossip about one of my clients. Ugh. Oh, you awake now? How are you feeling? Why am I... Hmm? Phew, uh, Professor? Please forgive me for my ineptitude with the door back there. Gasp, look, one cannot grow to rely on someone all the time, can they? So I guess uh, the doctor couldn't figure out the door and the pre uh, professor did. You of all people are saying this, I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Are we in purgatory right now? Are we being judged? That's a very good question. All right, everyone's accounted for? Great. No rest for the wicked, my lad. It's time for you to delve deeper. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save, finally. All right, let's see what everybody's got to say. Man, this place is starting to get to me. Can we go home now? Um, Ayudo? What's up? Uh, nothing. Huh. I'm scared. Really, really scared. Please forgive me for being so weak. Are you feeling okay? You look ill. Huh? I'm perfectly fine. What? Do you mind? It's surprisingly cool in here. Yeah, now that you mention it. Yeah, it probably gets colder as you go farther, right? Isn't that how it works? Although you'd think it'd get hotter because the Earth's core is molten. I don't know how anything works. Somebody explain that. You're injured. Here, let me take a look. Okay, here we go. So we got healed up. These ruins are designed to test a person's... How can I put this? Virtue. Ayoto, as long as you keep a good head on your shoulders, you'll do fine. Okay. Wait, what's everybody saying? Oh, so somebody noticed, huh? Somebody... How did you guys notice? That guy's very forgettable. Alright, so everyone's saying, where's the fat man? Do you guys want to go and take a look for him? YouTube died. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we all made it through the poison, although people are noticing that we may in fact be short one member. It still says 10 living, so that's good. Used to be 11, but we lost the kid. This is the door to that gas chamber we just passed. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's nothing, right? 
It won't open. It must be due to this law this log propped against it. Why would anyone want to prop the door closed like this? Hey, now this log's up for grabs. Oh, I accidentally... The one bad thing about this is any key you hit will skip through the dialogue. I was turning and it skipped through the dialogue. We have a new skill. So just your average one of the mill log. So now we have the option take. So I guess we could take it. I'll be taking that. A log, huh? I guess I could try using it as a blunt weapon. Or maybe not. This is way too unwieldy. Oh, unwieldy. Based on what little I know about geo... Thermix, uh, distance under the ground, you get cooler and cooler, or warmer and warmer, based on the temperature of the surface. Yeah, I mean, like, as you go down, it gets colder and colder, but at what point does it start getting warmer and warmer? I guess you'd have to be a way long way underground for it to get warmer. A uh, log, huh? I guess I could try using it as a blunt weapon. Or maybe not, this is way too unwieldy. Still, it seems pretty durable. Some high-quality stuff as far as tree trunks go. I like you, log. I'm gonna keep you. Obtained log. I mean, maybe it gets colder to a point, and then maybe it just stays at that point forever until you get to the core. I don't know. Um, why won't this door open? Push, pull, what the heck, door? Just give me a sec here, guys. Gonna make a fool of me, huh, door? How's this? Stupid door. Huh, I didn't know they made doors that open upwards. Go fig. Sounds like a way to die, if you ask me. Guillotine. Okay. Oh, I should probably pair up with somebody. Alright, who do you guys want to pair up with? We've got, uh, tank top, childhood friend, and, um, tour guide lady. Ooh, those are the choices. Let me get a drink of something while you guys decide. Pair up with Fat Man. I don't think that's possible anymore. You need to go about 230 meters down or so before it starts to get warmer and warmer. Really? Yeah, we are forgetting the fat guy. I don't see him around anywhere. Weird. Ah, childhood friend, tour guide. Okay, let's try the tour guide for a little bit. Just for a little bit. I'm sure we'll go back to What's-His-Face soon. If you'd like, I'd be happy to assist you, Ayudo. Tour guide, Sei Sai Otogi has joined the exploration party. Alright, let's see what kind of fancy moves she can do. Fancy footwork. Okay, so she dances. Good for her, I guess. He does if you don't look for him, right? Mmm, yeah. Well, we tried the door and he just says it's a door. Oh my god, are you kidding? Yeah, you can get attacked from holding still, by the way. You don't necessarily have to be moving. Sucks. Alright, well, we're fighting a wasp. Cool. At least it went down easy. So we got some cool statues now. I really like the artwork in this game. Sprite work and the, like, the, the cutouts, the portraits. Good way to die, except if you use the log. Um, I think the log can be used for something, but I'm not gonna say what. You guys will have to figure it out. Let's look over this railing. Pitch black. I can't even see the bottom. From up here, it looks like it goes on and on forever. Oof, spooky. And it's full of wasps! Huh, that's weird. This one's missing a statue. What should I do? Uh, we're fighting an agama. Never heard of an agama. Not sure if that's a Japanese word or it literally was some kind of um, Egyptian lizard. Well, tell you what, let's go ahead and defend and we'll try out what's your face's fancy footwork. Bit viciously. It lost track of the party, so maybe that's good for keeping it off of us, I guess? Pay attention to the statues, guys. Yep. Looks like a species of monitor. What's what's the giveaway if it's a monitor? Out of curiosity. Because I've heard monitors are, are a type of lizard, and I hear they're smart, and I think some people make them into pets, but um, looking at it, how can you tell if it's a monitor? Uh, let's see, let's see... Oh, great, a necrotic falcon. Gee, zombie bird. Nice. Let's 
Wow, we still haven't hit the bottom yet? These stairs keep going and going and going. This seems like a good point to get everyone down here. Hmm, I have to say, the further we dwell, delve, the more wondrous this place becomes. The various depictions of great pharaohs and the vast array of murals and hieroglyphs. This is a gold mine of ancient Egyptian history. Yes, fascinating. However, Professor, don't you realize the fatal flaw in our plan? A flaw? What do you mean? We're completely unsanctioned by the SCA. Ergo, we cannot sell anything we discover here because they're illicit goods. Oh, Ayuda, my lad. Deep down, this atrium is a discovery so grand, I can feel it in my bones. I trust you'll continue your surveying. You cannot be serious, Professor. Hmm? Why do I have a sudden feeling that something is amiss, Ayuto? Eh? At this rate, they're gonna end up in the stair SCP game. <laughs> Speaking of which, has anyone seen that portly lad wearing glasses lately? Oh, now that you mention it... Oh yeah, I totally forgotten about him after I knocked his sorry ass on the floor. Whatever, man, that guy was always complaining about being tired. Maybe we should let him get his beauty sleep, you know? God knows he needs it. You're saying... No, he couldn't have. Didn't he follow us through the gas chamber? Nonsense, if he had, he'd be here by now. Regardless, if he did get trapped there, it's too late to save him now. Oh well, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. <laughs> that glasses-wearing lad was a sloth and a waste of space. He'd only continue slowing down my ex excavation. His loss was, in the end, our gain. It sickens me how this is the way the mi this is the way the mind of a pragmatic professional works. Oh, that girl is gone too. Who? I know she was here a second ago. All right, so there we have it, nine living. <laughs> so, the, the, the number is dropping. Okay, so we'll talk about people here and then we can have a look. And Mr. Togi looks extremely exhausted for some reason. He looks completely lost in thought. Oh my gosh, I should push, I should push. You shouldn't be sitting so close to the railing like that. You just might fall, like right now. If I fall, I'm gonna take you down with me. Eek, and you say it all with such a serious face, too. I feel a chill from somewhere. Jeez, how far do these ruins go? This place is humongous! You're injured. Here, let me take a look. Hmm, thankfully it's not that serious. I'll tend to it, so sit still, please. I'm entrusting you with a task most vital. All right, let's let's just. I doubt it'll do anything, but heave. No. <laughs> All right. Well, we might as well look for the redhead just for a second. Spit on Tsuchita. I can only spit when I have what's his face, unfortunately. Oh shoot! I didn't bring anyone with me. Well, that doesn't matter too much, I don't think. All right, real quick. Who should I bring up with me while I look for uh, Miss Redhead Tsundere? We've got a choice between childhood friend and... Oh, looks like we lost the tour guide. Looks like she's not cool being um, in our party right now. I'm sorry, Ayudo. Now's not a good time. What? Something's wrong. She looks ghastly. Yeah, she's been kind of off recently, hasn't she? Let's see... Professor, apparently a child got impaled and a man got gassed to death on your expedition. But boy, did you find a cool mummy in the pyramid. You're definitely absolved of your crimes. Yeah, a person like this, morals aren't that important. He's looking for recognition. He's looking to, to further his own agenda. Okay, so, um, let's see. Who do we get? Who do we get? Doesn't look like anybody cares too much. So, we'll go ahead and recruit our childhood friend just for a second. Then we can go back to what's-his-face. Vote to rename the redhead Ranga. It's a Nazi slang for redhead. Yeah, I'll probably remember Ranga a lot more than uh, the other name. Okay, let's go have a look for her. Or Ginger. <laughs> Ging. Oh yeah, um, so how is Australia doing right now? I know it's been a little bit uh, tough right now. I hear the Prime Minister came back from his Hawaiian vacation, so that's nice, isn't it? Can the professor get killed? He can get killed, right? I don't know, we'll just have to find out. This is the run where everybody dies, so who knows, there's a good chance of it.
The PM is in a lot of trouble. I, I heard rumblings that the reason people are upset with him is forgetting about the Hawaiian vacation at the wrong time. Dang it, I hated how it attacks you when you're sitting still. I've heard he may or may not have defunded some groups that could have possibly helped with the, with the brush fire. Although that could just be political mudslinging, I don't actually know. I'm, I'm really completely ignorant of how Australia works, so. How nice of him to visit. Everything is still on fire, unfortunately. Yeah. The love from other countries supporting Australia is nice. Oh, hey, here she is. Interesting that he'd believe he'd be recognized anyway, since they aren't officially sanctioned. He wouldn't be officially recognized anyway. Well, hopefully, hopefully things are able to recover moving forward. Sheesh. Can't even bother to acknowledge my existence. Huh? What is she staring at? A photo? Okay, so she doesn't acknowledge us. What do you think we guys sh uh, we should do, huh? Oh, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. What? Oh my gosh, I fainted. I didn't even notice that. Shoot! Okay, okay, uh... Tell you what, we are gonna use... Just a little bit of chewing gum. Although I don't know if I can use... Okay, tell you what, I just have to make it... Oh, she's low on health too, though. Hmm. Oh, man. All right, we're running away. Fuck it. Out. We're out. See you later, Red. Oh, no, 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 no. That eagle does a lot of damage. Oh, no, no, are you kidding? Falcon, my bad. Yeah, we're dead. Well, we couldn't do anything with her anyway. Or maybe we could, but we're not really gonna try that hard, are we? Okay, Nay sucks. We're gonna take back Mr. Tank Top. Yeah, how are we fainted if he's walking around exactly? So, all right, let's go. Hey, Ayudo? Yeah? You've been working far too hard for our sake. I was thinking it's about time I start lending you a hand. Hey, thanks. I really appreciate it. Whoops. Can't believe I went this uh, far without introducing myself. The name's Soji Mizumi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Now then, my dear Miss Otogi, I think we should give this floor a good once-over. Ayudo, we should split here. Try checking the floors below. Hmm... All right, well, I guess we could have a look. Are you kidding? Oh, well, there's a picture on this one. Yeah, couldn't do anything with it. It probably wouldn't be wise to rush off too far ahead. hate this freaking falcon. They hit hard. Okay, so there's a picture here. I guess I could try crouching or something. Um, crouch. Looks like I'm out of gas. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, we'll fight it, sure. A game about Japanese exploring the pyramid. Huh, weird. <laughs> They be getting it on hard, that's why the guide is always so exhausted. Huh. Interesting you say that. Alright, let's have a look. What the? I followed you like you wanted. What do you want from me? Don't play coy with me. You know what I want. There's only one eensy weensy thing you can do to make it all better. Mr. Mizumi, how could you? I'm a photojournalist, remember? I'm no stranger to pretty faces living a double life. Shocked? Don't be. It's all part of the job. Pop stars, supermodels, celebrities. In this industry, <laughs> industry, I find they all have at least one skeleton in their closet. They'd rather die than let that dirt be published. And oh man, how far they would go to keep it hidden. I didn't have to say a thing. They practically threw themselves at me without a second thought.
You found a scrapped info about the fat guy? Yeah, I heard about them. That one, we'll talk about that later. Um, if you are researching the game, don't give any information you're finding out um, here, if you can help it. Yeah, no spoilers. No, stop, please don't. <laughs> These ruins are hardly the worst place I've ever done it at. What? What should I do? Yeah, so. What should we do, guys? I'm watching with the audio at 0%. Oh no! Hopefully the music isn't that bad. Shout? Should we shout? Just start screaming? Have a, have a little freak out? Let's take a deep breath. Oh my, how shameful. Ayato, is that you? Mizumi, what the hell are you? Oh, hey, Ayoto. Uh, Ayuto, I've been saying his name wrong. Ayuto, uh, this is uh, merely a misunderstanding. Are you implying I'm doing something inappropriate to this young lady? Perish the thought. I hate to speak ill of our most esteemed tour guide, but something came up while we were inside the gas chamber. Ah, uh, come on, why won't that door open? Huh? Did something fall out of her pocket? A white bag? Jackpot. I'm here to make a citizen's arrest and confiscate the illegal drugs in Miss Otoki's possession. You know damn well how drugs can rot away at society's core. Uh, okay. I mean, it's probably just cocaine, let's face it. I may be a photojournalist, but I'm still human. I have my own moral convictions and thought I should take action before it was too late. Miss Otogi, I can't even begin to understand how you're able to sleep at night. Is what he's saying the truth, Miss Otogi? Why? Why would you do such a thing? Are you a user? I'm not. These drugs were only to sell. I never touched the stuff. You can't be a drug dealer. You're just a tour guide, right? I was set up as a tour guide for the sole purpose of being able to travel freely from country to country without arousing any suspicion by my frequent travels. This allows me to traffic in drugs with minimal interference. In short, the tour guide position is just a ruse for what I really am, a drug trafficker. And you're proud to be doing that? You have to understand that I am a member of an underground organization. Ayoto, it is for your own safety that you pretend none of this happened. This is not a threat, but a precaution. Further prying will only get you hurt or killed. Huh? Thy depravity lay bare to judge. What's happening? The ceiling, it's collapsing. Watch out, Misotogi, quickly this way. W wait, something just latched onto my leg? All right. Okay. Yeah, that is coming down. What the hell is that thing? Yup. Alright, uh... I don't know if we can win this, actually. Yeah, this guy's way too strong. I can't even spit anymore, that guy's passed out. Uh... Yeah, run away. Escape. Uh, well... Uh, <laughs> Miss... Miss Otogi? Why did this happen? Was I a witness to Miss Otogi's sin being judged? Her penalty was death. This can't be real. My mind refused to accept this reality. My head swam in a fog. I felt like I was frozen in time. This can't be real, right? That mummy refused to release Miss Otogi until the ceiling fell on her. I couldn't possibly have imagined that something like this could happen in our world. It's one of her buyers. Some coked up celebrity just... <laughs> Are we going to keep running into death traps like these? We have to be alert. We have to not only pay attention to what's around us, but also what's above us. Look up has been added to your actions. Well, yeah. 
I couldn't save her. I just got back and another person's dead. Yeah, we're down to eight people living. Um, you know, not great. Could be worse. <laughs> oh no, the totally innocent smuggler died. What a shame. Mizumi, Ayudo, what's the rush? I think there's someone else down in here, uh, down here in the ruins with us. What? Where did you see them? Just moments ago at the bottom floor. You gotta be joking. How is it possible for anyone to be down here? Hey, I'm being serious here. The person I saw was a woman. Still don't believe me? I have proof. I got her on film. The photo may be too dark to see her, but you still might be able to make her out in the shot. I'll let you hold on to it. Obtained Mizumi's photo. I'm gonna try catching up with her below. Oh, so we've got a photo, huh? Someone down in the ruins with us, huh? Mizumi's photo. I think Mizumi said that this was a photo he had taken of a woman? Eh, looks more like a statue to me. This doesn't help me any. Where did he take this photograph at? It looks like he panicked and completely missed his shot. Oh no, nope, 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 run away. I'm really messed up from the stupid freaking... No falcons, no falcons. Ah, uh, screw it, I'm just gonna have to heal real quick. I wonder if I can bring that guy back. A stick of sugarless gum made to prevent cavities. Choo choo choo. Starting to feel better. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. Oh good. Okay, good, good. I didn't even need to use the freaking gum. Oh wait, I can just reload. Um, it does get kind of It does get kind of uh hard towards the end if you don't manage your items, so I'm just gonna just reload real quick. Nope, nope. Oh, no, 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 no! I hate this. I hate this. Okay, fine, fine. We'll just have to hope the the random, uh, random generation doesn't, uh, get us a falcon. Look at the save scummer. <laughs> I, I will use and abuse whatever game, uh... Okay, we made it. Whatever, um, framework the game has. They seem to be coming too. Okay, so Hyosuke is up and up and about. Kyosuke, Hyosuke, Kyosuke, that's his name. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she should have danced on the mummy. Oh yeah, she did have fancy footwork, didn't she? Holy cow, he one-shotted me! Do you see that? I, I'm just dead now. This is so messed up. Yeesh. Ah, every three seconds. I just one shot at the, oh, what, wait a minute. What's going on? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he not healing me? Is he just waking up the people that are asleep? Hang on, let's check this out. Because I'm at one health and he's fainted. Seem to be coming too. Let's check. Oh, he's not healing us. He's just reviving the fainted guy. You have to you have to talk to him twice in a row. Well, I'm glad I figured that out. I feel like I used to know that, but I, f I forgot it. Okay, yeah, now we're both up to full health. Good. That sucks. <laughs> Is that on my end or YouTube's? What's going on? Okay, so I did look up how to save the tour guide. Yeah, I know how to save the tour guide. However, we're killing everyone in this run. Uh, try not to, to spoil too much because we do want to try and figure it out later. I might as well just kill this guy. Yeah, so don't worry. We will be saving everyone that we sort of can save. So don't worry. We're, we're purposely getting everyone killed in this one. Yeah, when you download the game, it actually does come with a text file that doubles as a walkthrough. So if you go to um, Something Memories, the group that translated this, that are hosting the, the file for download, when you download the game, it's got the text. There we go. Okay, we're doing better. Oh, level four. Cool. Alright, we're just gonna keep walking. Here's a spoiler, rink and die. Can and did. Is this the bottom? <gasps> What's that? 
Looks like something's glittering over there. Is this all treasure and other valuables? Only the professor could appraise this. I should tell them to come down here. Oh ho, so at the bottom of this atrium lies a trove of treasure. Yeah, um, there was like a chest with a mountain full of golden coins, intricate vases, necklaces, and all sorts of valuable looking jewelry. Are you serious, Ayudo? Please, by all means, lead the way. <laughs> well, Ayudo, please tell us what more you have found down there at the bottom of the atrium. Let me see. There were two statues of women and a dog-like figure. Hmm. Uh, Ayudo? Yeah? Look, right over there. M Mizumi? What on earth happened to him? I hate to speak as a doctor at a time like this, but it is already far too late for him. His neck has been rubbed raw by what appears to be a rope. Most likely, he died from asphyxiation. How can this be? I just walked past this area and I didn't even once see him. Could this be another judgment? Now that you mention it, he did tell me earlier that he saw a woman down here. Other than us? Preposterous. That's utterly impossible. That's quite enough. The more half-hearted attempts at justifying our situation I hear, the more ridiculous it begins to sound. These ruins themselves are far beyond explanation. We don't have time to contemplate the mysteries of the universe here. Let's move. Where's the tall man now? Uh, he is laying on the floor, dead of an apparent hanging. Right before my eyes lie, uh, lay Mizumi's dead body, right? It would be lay Mizumi's dead body, right? I don't know. Grammar's hard sometimes when it comes to lay, lies, and yeah. He's not breathing, so I guess that dashes any hope of him jumping up and telling us he's fine. Why? Why can't I do anything? Why am I forced to stand here staring like a slack-jawed idiot? Nothing about this is right. How can human life be treated so trivially? Ooh, this is... Holy crap! All of us can't be... All of this can't be real, can it? Could it be? This may be an altar where offerings for the deceased were put forth. On top of that, the atrium was constructed with an open ceiling as a means to guide the pharaoh's soul up to Aaru, the field of reeds which serves as their heaven. Professor, the price tag we can put on these treasures is immense, and that's without the added value of where it all came from. Oh yes, go ahead and take some. Live like a king for a day, but remain a fool for a lifetime. What do you mean by that? You, yourself, said something to that effect earlier, did you not? Uh, hang on one second. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Uh, then yourself, you yourself said something to that effect earlier, did you? You covered it quite handily. All of this belongs to the Egyptian government. We cannot touch or claim it. But you said that you'd take care of everything, and I have no recollection of promising the impossible. If you're so desperate to smuggle some of this treasure out, why not swallow it and carry it inside your stomach? <laughs> Tch, professor. No, you can't. Do you still... All right, I'll bite. Maybe I will try to smuggle some. Maybe something small and lightweight, like some of these coins or bracelets. Uh, just how much do you think we can make out of selling these? No, what the hell am I thinking? Looking desperate and greedy in front of Yo-Yo would be massively uncool. Ain't that right, Yo-Yo? Just because you find something doesn't mean you can take it. Just take it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Huh? Why do you suddenly look sick, Yoko? Ayuto, would you mind diverting your attention over here for a second? Yeah? Look over here, past that treasure chest. Do you see those statues that appear to be of two women crying? Yeah, something about it gives me the creeps. They are no known as the Mourning Women. Mourning Women? Indeed, these statues represent the women who would attend Egyptian funerals in order to weep and make gestures of mourning. Yet, they were not just mourners. Being a mourning woman was an actual profession back then. 
to see them in person instead of on a mural is most fascinating. I wonder, considering their oddly specific placement, do they perhaps hold some kind of special meaning? Uh... <laughs> what? How? Did, did she just drop from the atrium? S Sayori! I knew she was missing from the group, but I had no idea she was up there. The, this is indescribable. Her entire body is disfigured. The damage m matches what I would expect from someone who fell approximately ten floors. There's... no, I can't. What's that? You can't save her, Kuroi? Take a good look at it again. This must have been excruciatingly painful for her. How could you even say that? Quit being absurd, the deceased died instantly on impact. Oh, I see now. Well, that's yet another young lady you watched die. I most respectfully ask that you shut up, Professor. Hey, Ayudo, do you think this could be a suicide? She tried the same thing back at the gas chamber, remember? Uh, it's hard to say, but it definitely seems that way. Somebody says it's a bit cliche. Remember, this game did come out in 1998, so probably back then, you know? It seems like everyone has started to come unraveled. The novelty of curiosity has now been taken over by panic. No. Started to, become, started to come unraveled, I think a lot of us have already reached our mental limit. We're all hoping and praying that this will all end up being some kind of bad dream. Yet. What about me? Just what the heck were these ruins made for? I can't bring myself to believe they were designed to kill people. Ayudo, I... I... Yeah? I think I'm the next one to die. Uh, why would you... Yoko, you really think you'll be judged? You have nothing to worry about. You haven't done anything bad. Why do the Japanese always go so hard uh, when it comes to RPG Maker deaths? Uh, because they're awesome. That was amazing. Um, and that's one of the reasons I really prefer a lot of uh, Japanese RPG Maker games. You're wrong. You're wrong about that. I... Look, I know you're scared, but... Yoko, she's scared stiff. She's much more affected by this situation than any of us. Yoko, I'll protect you with my life. Oh, Ayudo, thank you so much. You woman-stealing bastard. Uh, what I meant to say was me and Kyosuke will protect you, of course. Nay's looking a little salty. Hmm? Can you afford to leave your girlfriend on her own at a time like this, Ayudo? Girlfriend? That lass who just left us looked to me like she was awfully jealous. Girlfriend? No, no, we're not like that. Is that so? Well, I can't claim to know any better. Nor do I claim to care. Still, the point stands. Would she be safe on her own? You're a brutal death fiend. Look, when it's done well, that's brutal. Love to see that. Hmm, let me tell you something, Ayudo. During ancient Egyptian times, polygamy was commonplace, and it was practiced by the wealthy. What's more, if a woman showed any signs of jealousy toward other women, it was considered a very great crime. Are you content knowing your girlfriend will be judged for her crime? What? Well, if the lass is not your girlfriend, as you insist, then she has no reason to be jealous. Ergo, we have no reason to worry. <laughs> Ugh, he sucks. Okay, we're actually pretty close to the end here. So, I know I said we'd go to three, but I think here in about another half hour, we'll have reached the end of the run. Do you guys want to keep going for about another half hour? You guys gonna be alright? Let me take a drink and I'll see what the chat says. Oh shoot, I should probably take a break right here, regardless. So, we can take a quick five minute break, and um, then when we come back, we'll finish off the playthrough. We are real close to the end. Professor best character. Alright, that's it. Um, the professor is Ulrun's waifu, so everybody be nice to him. Alright, let's go ahead and swap over to the break. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna go get a refill. I'll see you guys in about four to five minutes.
All right, I'm back technically, but I think we still have like another minute or two of the break. I really want to rip uh, some of the music of this game because it's not likely to be in any copyright system and then just use it um, for extra music on stream breaks. I don't want people to get overused to or tired of uh, the music that's kindly been donated by Voidhead. Oh, by the way, speaking of Voidhead, um, I believe he came out with an album that has a lot of the music that he donated to the stream break as well as some uh, tracks that you haven't heard yet. So I, I think I usually, if, if I remember right, I do link to his uh, band camp and stuff in the description. So if you're interested in that and in having the songs for yourself, it's, it's going to be there. Oh, yep, and Mario brings up a good point while you're here and you're enjoying this uh, break. Please feel free to like the stream uh, and also come check out the community discord. Yeah, the community dis discords are really fun. I wish I was able to be on them more, but I'm a lurker by nature. So I like to just watch what everybody's saying and doing rather than being part of it. I've never done chat rooms really my whole life, but eh, I can I can try. I'm getting better a bit. <laughs> hmm. Bet Fat Man killed her from beyond the grave. Who does your artwork, Ezra? Uh, well, the stream break photo, that one I did just really qu quick uh, in Procreate on the um, iPad. So uh, sometimes if it looks weird, that's probably one that I drew. Otherwise, I'll just use a, if I'm being lazy, I'll use a screenshot from the game. Yep, yep. I like big butts on the stream break. I would get instantly claimed. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, have a look here. I'll give it another couple seconds. This game does seem like fun, yeah. And again, you know, depending on your choices, multiple people combinations, some people live, some people die. And it is free uh, if you go to the page of the people who translated it. Yeah, and again, the game is called Perret M. Heru for the Prisoners. And they've also translated a lot of other games, um, including some corpse parties and, and other kind of scary horror, possibly RPG Maker-esque games. So I'm gonna have a look at that page maybe after uh, next time, so. You know, future game ideas. On one hand, more people in the Discord would be uh, nice, so I have uh, someone to talk to, but on the other hand, I like a s smaller community kind of thing. Yeah, smaller community versus larger community, there's so many different pros and cons. So, yeah, I get that for sure. Shows procreation on Stream Tender Report. Procreation, it's a, it's a, what do you call it, paid app that you can get on the iPad if you want to doodle on it. Save me a ton of time, because you can just lay anywhere and just doodle on the iPad rather than having to sit at a tablet or, you know. Rin's death reminded me of Corpse Party. Yeah, there's a lot about this that reminds me of both Corpse Party and... Ah, uh, shoot, what was the other one I was saying? It reminds me of uh, Sweet Home. So, interesting stuff. All right, we're going to get back into it. We're just going to start by talking to some of the people. I'm sorry, Ayudo. I made her upset. Yeah, you did. What the hell, Ayudo? You already got yourself a nice little setup. My bad, I didn't want this to happen. You have no need for me at this moment. We're closing in, Ayudo. The answer is near. The answer? All right, doesn't look like we can, or maybe we can, let's see. It's such a shame that a lot of Japanese games are never imported to the EU and US. Yeah, never translated, that's a crying shame. So you pretty much have to rely on the kindness of people translating it and releasing it, or learn Japanese yourself. I've actually been doing a little bit on Duolingo. Um, it's the best learning tool I've had. And I've, got, I've gotten textbooks, I've tried other programs, other apps. Duolingo was the best I've had. Um, and I've gotten a little far translating a, a game that I've been playing. Uh, and it's, for all intents and purposes, going smoothly. So maybe one day we can try that on a stream, just go through stuff. All right, Ayudo. And there's grass here. Did we finally manage to escape? No, what am I saying? We're thousands of feet underground. There's a roof here, right? Nope, figures. Thinking about it is doing me a little good. I should focus on bringing Nay back. I like how the, the menu color will change depending on what's going on. Duolingo Owl is dead for me. They don't bother you. Like, I was really expecting that meme where they get really nasty and, like, aggressive about, about you know, not doing your, your language. I got one that was like, oh, looks like these aren't working. You know, we don't want to bother you, so just come back when you feel like it. And it hasn't talked to me in, like, a month or two. So I'm actually very sad that it doesn't do that. How much is Duolingo paying you? I have never been sponsored. But it would be nice, but it would also make me feel a little weird because I would be afraid to criticize it if they were paying me money to talk about them. You know, it's weird, so. Are you kidding me? How is this lizard messing me up? 
Oh, he's just flat out gonna kill me. He. Um, is this a coffin? Nay. Ayuto. Um, oh hey, look, not only are there weeds growing around, but there's trees too. It's almost like we made it back outside. Kind of surprising, huh? Should have grinded? Yeah, might have to. Yeah, surprising. Listen, Nay, I... Hey, Ayuto, you want to know something? Yeah. Did you know that Yo-Yo has this major crush on you? What? Yeah, for a pretty long time now. But but what about Kyosuke? To Yo-Yo, Kyosuke's only a good friend. On the other hand, she feels like she can talk to you about anything, you know? Yo-Yo isn't very forward with her feelings. So I told her that she should try a more subtle approach. You told her that? All of us know how Kyosuke feels about Yo-Yo, so I thought Yo-Yo would at least consider his feelings, but you see how that's been going. I thought if there was a chance she'd take... I thought if there was a chance, she'd take comfort in Kyosuke. If that happens, then I could be with you. I don't get what you're saying, Nay. You're telling me all this now because... Stay back, Nay. I've had enough. I'm so conflicted. I'm already so overwhelmed with emotions as it is, because Ayato, I love. Eh? <laughs> well, there we go. Nay. Ah. Uh. She's not here. Where the heck did it take her? This looks like a temple. Kuroe, do you truly desire money that badly? Are you in such squalor, even with your profession as a doctor? The desperation you display is quite unsightly. Professor, you're the last person I ever want to hear that from. <laughs> Touché. I shouldn't expect a greedy, thieving doctor to be able to understand anything. We have already seen your true colors, Professor. I hardly care if you drag me into your little escapade. I don't even care if you tease and mock me, but involving children like Ayuto is an extremely poor taste. A new low for you, Professor. And you call yourself a professional? Do all world-class archaeologists use child labor? <laughs> How dare you mouth off to me. I merely did what was necessary. Nothing would have pleased me more than to risk the two of us here alone. Huh? I heard a strange noise. Hey, ouch! What the? It gave me an electrical shock? I can't get in like this. What now? Alright, so we'll have to head back. Ah! What's going on? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and actually save over purposefully my first save, because I know I've got the third one down there as a backup. So we're just gonna do that. Because I kind of want to have this to grind, if I remember correctly, grinding may in fact be hard moving forward. The, the Anubis figure? No, impossible. It's a real jackal? Grr. <laughs> Whoa, this can't be for real. Why would Anubis attack, uh, why would Anubis attack Kuroe? Perhaps this is his judgment. Or is this his judgment? Eek. Kuroe, empty your pockets. Eh, what are you saying? Stop being obstinate and listen to me. Throw away whatever you took now. He's punishing you, for you are seen as a thief in their eyes. Therefore, you must be judged accordingly. Ah, here, I'll give it back. Have I been spared? Grr. No, stay back. Someone help me. Eek. What the hell? Yo-Yo took nothing, you mangy mutt, so why are you attacking her? You! The hell are you staring at, Ayuto? Yo-Yo needs our help! Kyosuke has joined the party. We'll save you, Yoko. Okay. Decisive blow. Dang! I didn't get a chance to heal now, did I? Oh, what the hell is that dog made out of? 
That is no ordinary dog. Our hits don't even phase him. He suddenly vanished? Yo-yo. Ugh. Ugh. I guess he's throwing up. What? No, this can't- this can't be real. This is a dream. Yeah, it has to be. Just one wretched dream of another world. Isn't that right, Ayuto? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it did look like she had a necklace, didn't it? There's no way, no way this can be real. It's one thing seeing someone you've never met before end up with such a horrible fate. But for a close friend to die? This can't be right. Before my very eyes is Yoko. It can't be. It couldn't have happened. I don't want to look anymore. I want this purged from my mind. Ayuto. Get a hold of yourself, lad. You must stay strong. Ayuto, you must be firm. No. No. There's no doubt that everyone up until now has died. Rin's dead. The big guy passed away. Our tour guide, Miss Otogi, has died. Mizumi, the cameraman, has died. Sayori, she committed suicide. But this, this is different. Yoko can't be dead. Her heart has to keep beating. Hey, Kuroe. Uh, yes, fret not. The girl is doing fine. Miraculously, she's still alive. What? You see, you lads need uh, to learn not to make fools of yourselves. Have you even considered the lass's feelings? To be declared dead by her own close friends? I stopped the blood loss. She'll pull through. Both of you can rest easy now. Yo-yo! Whoa now, you stop right there. What for? Tch. I advise everyone to stay at a distance from the patient. We should leave everything in Kuro's hands. Or do you think the lass would appreciate all of you staring at her mauled face? Do you wish to gawk at it that badly? However, many questions still remain as to why she was attacked. Ah, oh, well. Ayuro, if you'd please lead the way. This is an incredible discovery, Ayuto. This greenery, it must be due to all the humidity in the air. Yeah, I will say this, she didn't take anything from that gold pile. When you put it like that, it does make sense. I guess you could say that this is an ancient Egyptian greenhouse. Well, now it's not except that plants don't really live off of humidity, they live off of sun, right? Well, now's not the time to dwell on trivial matters. Everyone, let's take a closer look at these four avian statues. These are made in the image of Horus, the great falcon-headed god. In ancient Egypt, many of their deities were represented as animals, this one being such example. This being one such example, blah. The ancient Egyptians worshipped their gods most zealously for Horus to be placed here. Listen, this... Wait, I got mixed up with the lines. For Horus to be placed here, this place had to be especially sacred to them. Listen well. Throughout ancient Egyptian history, pharaohs were believed to be the incarnation of Horus. In other words, these are not only the statues of the god Horus, but also those of Pharaoh Khufu. Do you understand now? We have arrived at the pharaoh's valley temple. Uh, can't say I do. Enough imbecility out of you, boy. My patience for the ignorant has worn thin. So close, and we still haven't discovered Pharaoh Khufu's tomb. It may yet be deeper inside the Great Pyramid. Ayuto, if you please, hmm? Yeah? That lass. You still haven't retrieved her. Uh, um... It couldn't be. Hey, the geezer's right. Ayuto, where the hell did Ichikawa go? Yo, I'm talking to you. Wait... No, don't tell me Ichikawa got attacked too, like Yo-Yo. Answer me, damn it! Nay, she was abducted. What? Uh, abducted? By who? It sounds strange, but something inside a coffin. A co what the hell? I see, from inside a stone coffin, specifically a sarcophagus, like the one we had just passed. Very well, let's press forward. Oh, it looks like the, uh... 
Warhammer fans are a bit triggered about Horus. <laughs> Very well, let's press forward. What can I do? Nay was always by my side. My head feels like it's swimming. I feel disconnected, like this isn't even real. The slightest misstep could mean death for someone. No, even if we do everything perfectly, some of us may still not make it out alive. And because of that, I have to face the fact that all of this is 100% real. No longer should I try to convince myself that this is all a dream. Rin was judged as a liar and died back in the ruins. The big guy was judged for being lazy. He was last seen back in the gas chamber. There's a slim chance he may still be okay. Miss Otogi was judged for her dr drug, <laughs> drug trafficking and was crushed by a falling ceiling. When we found Mizumi at the atrium, he was already strangled to death. What was his crime? Adultery? Can someone consider that a crime worthy of death? Well, he was kind of blackmailing and forcing himself on that drug dealer, so... Uh, or did he have a much darker secret that died with him? I don't think Sayori was judged. She committed suicide. The ruins may have let her live if not for her taking her own life. Yoko was attacked by that dog. I saw firsthand what that dog did to Yoko. There's no way she lived through that. The professor and Dr. Kurwe lied to us. God damn it, I have to take this seriously now. This is all real. I won't let anyone else die. I get it now. The thought of possibly losing Nay, the possibility of dying, of her dying, is a burden much too heavy to bear. I have to save her. I have to save Nay. The girl has pulled through and left me with a message. She wants everyone to know that she's sorry for making her, making you all worry. Is something the matter, Ayuto? N no nothing. I tried to hold back a shudder. Yoko is in no state to say anything at all. Yo, Doc, can I see Yo-Yo yet? Answer me now, you son of a bitch. Whoa, hold on a moment. She, uh, she said she wants to be left alone for now. Could we respect her wishes? This conversation is way too surreal. He's obviously lying through his teeth to everyone. Kiyosuke, come on, man. Can't you see right through this BS? Or maybe you already do. You know it as well as I do. Yoko's gone. You just refuse to accept it. As long as you don't acknowledge it, it won't be real to you. Sorry for the trouble, Kurue. That comment was completely uncalled for, Professor. Even a coroner has to get sick of corpses sometimes. More than ever, we cannot afford for Ayuto to lose motivation. If we allow that, everyone's morale will plummet. Isn't it worth telling one little white lie in order to keep everyone's spirits up? My, my, Professor, it's shocking hearing compassion from you. Though I suppose I'm being unfair. After all, you've already proven that you have a heart when you saved my life back there. Right, Professor? Yeah, uh, much darker secret. I mean, I'd consider rape kind of a big deal. I don't know if Ayuto could technically hear the conversation, uh, because he, his immediate question is, what's going on? So, I don't know if he couldn't tell what was happening. Alright, well, let's, let's take a head count. Five living. Me, Kyosuke, Professor, Kurue, and then assuming Nei is alive, and Nei would be the fifth. Yeah, Yoko's definitely dead. They're just telling us that so that we can keep doing what they want us to do. Hey, Ayuro, hurry up and save Ichikawa. Roger. You're injured. Let me take a look. It's not that serious. Okay. Be cautious, Ayuro. Alright. Hey, you made it in time. Ah, uh, well, we're three hours in. Um... But the good news is, even if you missed it, you're about to see the entire game get replayed on the next stream when we go for the good ending. I can't waste any time heading back. Can we finish the game seeing as we are that close? Yes, we are very close to beating the game and getting the worst possible combination of endings, so we will be doing that. You... huh. Nothing happened? Yeah, that's right, he got shocked last time he tried to go in. It's too early to go upstairs now, I have to find Nay first. Okay, well, we got a lot of doorways here. It's a statue of a woman. Oh. Is she trapped inside here? Hang on, Nay, I'm taking off this lid. I don't know if we should actually do that yet. Here, let me let me get some backstory from the professor real quick. Uh, okay. Well, maybe I guess, I guess not. I guess there's no... Okay, so I guess we'll have to pull it. 
Let's try pulling it. I can't pull the sarcophagus. Maybe I should take off the lid first. Okay, fine. If you want to split hairs, I'll be taking that. All right, let's take off this lid. Hmm. Stop. Wait a moment. What do you want? Nay's got to be inside one of these, so can this wait another time? If she really is, then you must listen to what I have to say. Huh? What is it? There will be grave danger if you act rashly. Follow me. See that statue over there, Ayudo? Do you understand her signifi uh, significance? It's a woman, and uh, what about it? Remember how I previously mentioned that the god Horus and the Pharaoh are one and the same? So what's your point? This woman is actually Hathor, the consort of Horus. Thus, she is also one of the Pharaoh's wives. Oh yeah? Great, awesome, I get it. Lad, you need to lose the attitude and listen. The hieroglyphs engraved into this slab of stone read, Within the chambers of this temple lies the legacy of Pharaoh Khufu's wives. To put it blu more bluntly, this place is a shrine to Khufu's mummified wives. Like a mummy burial ground. More than likely, this is the true resting place for his five wives. You'll notice there are six chambers here, meaning that girl, I believe her name was Nay, must be encased inside one of the sarcophagi within these chambers. Six chambers? So what? I'll just break all of them open till I find her. Hold your horses. I'm not done deciphering this. There's also a warning here for any potential robbers. A warning? It says here, if anyone other than the pharaoh himself were to open any sarcophagi belonging to one of his wives, great misfortune shall befall them. Ayudo, please be careful. If not for my sake, then for your own. All right, guys. So we have to go ahead and guess which of these six sarcophagus sarcophagi holds nay. So there's that first one we went into. There's this one. Um... Oh, are you kidding me, a gecko? Get out of my face, gecko. I'm trying to figure stuff out. So, sarcophagi, yeah. So, pick a number, guys. Which sarcophagus do you think we should try? Are you kidding me? This gecko killed me, right? Okay, yeah, like I said, a serious flaw that I find in this game is the random battles. Yeah, so. All right, so I'm seeing a three, a two, a six. Just gonna suggest this scummy save nature holds and we save before each one. Six? Everyone wants to try the six coffin. Okay, so assuming the bottom left is one, two... Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so it's gonna be one of the upper two then. Which one do you think is six? The upper left or the upper right? Look up in the roofs. His room should have no roof so the spirits can leave. <laughs> is that real? Well, sure, tell you what, we can try it. I'm gonna die here, so, you know, whatever. Ah, <sighs> tell you what, maybe I need to ask, um, for cooperation from Kyosuke. Uh, okay, you come with me. Okay, so I think that was causing the big problem. The most deadly gecko you've ever seen. Okay, well, let's look at the ceiling. Good point. Let's get a bit closer, I guess. Oh, he's fainted! <laughs> you bastard! He joined my... Oh my god, if I die here... I swear, if you, if you can't escape once, you just flat out can't ever escape again. I'm just gonna die. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I guess we'll never know how the game ends. So he joined my party as fainted. That's super cool. Yeah, see, look at that, dead. Uh, the gecko is the final boss. How did you know? Okay, so now we will finally look up at the ceiling. Okay. I wonder if something's up there. It's too dark to see above me. He joins and promptly passes out, yeah. Okay, so that could possibly be like there's no sky. If you know the answer, by the way, don't say. 
we're trying to figure it out. And plus, this is the one where everybody dies anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we figure it out or not. It's too dark. Okay, so those could possibly not have any ceiling. Too dark. Too dark. Well, these don't have. Uh, uh, these. I think there's an auto fight option. No, there isn't. That must have come later. Holy cow! Bombastic badass. If you can't escape once, you can't escape ever again. Otherwise known as marriage. Glad to not miss the stream for once. Yeah, it is very good to see you here, and thank you so much for the twenty buckaroos. Um, if you got here a little bit late and you have any questions about the story, feel free to ask. Um, if I see it, I'll try to answer. Uh, if anybody else sees it, I'm sure everybody else will be happy to uh, get you caught up as well. More bitcoins. <laughs> uh, Geku Fu's tomb. What the heck? This guy is not going down. What the heck? A hundred. Oh, so this is how you level up, I guess. You know what? Let me get to the exit. Just in case I get attacked again. Nope. Good. No, no, no. Yes. No, stop. <laughs> Why is it like this? I'm dead. Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> okay, so we are good to go, miraculously. No, no, I just saved over the second one. Oh, well, force of habit, that oh, doesn't matter. I have a feeling like there's invisible sprites that act as geckos, or the enemies is what I mean. So if you stand still, they will wander over to you and just continuously initiate battle. Okay, so, uh, look up, too dark. All right, so I don't know if, if there is a ceiling we could see it, or maybe they'd put them all with no ceilings, you know? Okay, so what do you guys think? I'm gonna stay in this room because the geckos will get me if I leave. <laughs> Gotta start all over next time. I'm good, I'm good. I might as well save again though, you're right. I'll just save on this guy for now. No, 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 don't worry. The The save file where we where we haven't messed anything up yet is actually in save file 3, so we're good there. Need a light? Um, need a light. I don't think we have a flashlight, do we? No, we don't have a flashlight. Oh, wait, why don't we try shouting, huh? Nay, where are you? No response. Okay, let's try it out here. All right, we're just gonna have to go ahead and pick a random one. Pick the number, guys. Do you guys still want six or do you want a different one? No response. Ah, get away from me. What is this game about anyhow? Um, just a guy thinks that the great Pharaoh Khufu is resting in a tomb below the Pyramid Giza. He blows up a hole. He is afraid to search alone because it's filled with horrible death traps. So he smuggles in a couple tourists with the, the lure of treasure and sights to see and proceeds to get everyone killed. We're Sully in his lighter when you need him. Ugh. Ugh. That's a really good amount of experience though, I will say that. Okay, okay. Well, let's go for six. Six? Six works. Not like it'll matter anyway. Gasp. It, it's a mummy. I guess we chose poorly. That's not who I was looking for, damn it. Huh? What's this? An earthquake? I better get out of here. What? Oh, the floor. All of it collapsed. Nay. Nay. What? No, this can't be. No, no, this isn't happening. This is... Nay, she can't be. I... I killed her. Because I opened the wrong coffin, she... Because of that, she's... No... Ah. 
Ayudo, Ayudo. This is terrible. Did he pass out? Let him rest here for now. Professor, I heard a thundering rumble while the two of you were in there. Don't tell me. Yes, there will be time for that later. Watch me whip, watch me nay nay. <laughs> Ugh. If I didn't do if I don't do something, she'll die. Hm? So loud. Could you keep it down? It looks like he's coming around now. And then there were four. Ayudo, are you hurt anywhere? Ayudo, I'm glad to see you're okay. Ayudo? Ayudo, isn't it still far too early to lose hope? After all, we were only operating under the assumption that Nay may be inside one of those sarcophagi. What? Have you considered the possibility that she was taken up those stairs? What say you? Should we continue our search for her? Ah, uh, no, she's... My lad, wouldn't abandoning her now, when she needs you most, be a slap to her face? Let's see. Oh yeah, don't worry, we're getting everyone killed. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna save everyone next run. Yeah, yeah, I know you won't spoil anything, so no worries. I had no idea the professor was an optimist. Yet, he's got a point. All we can do is hope for the best and keep moving forward. Especially when our only other option would be to get crushed under the reality of what really happened. Alright, we are just about at the end here. Yeah, no words. You're injured. Wish I could have your... I wish I could have your courage, Ayudo. Ayudo... This is a world where the strong live while the weak perish. Gee, that's the nice thing. Yeah, five... Actually, that's crazy. Look, it says five living. <laughs> Weird. Oh, you freaking kidding. Oh no, I didn't get the guy. I didn't get the guy with me. Stop. Alright, let me get... Um... Go ahead and save. Then once more into the breach. Wait. There's four here. The fat man. He's alive. Yeah, he's just at the entrance. He floated across the river and is waiting. It's a statue of a woman. Okay, now this is actually going to be a bit hard because the more people you have, the easier it is. So, given that I have killed everyone, um... Hopefully I'll be able to beat the game, but it just just to, let's just let you know it's hard. It's real hard. It operates kind of on the way that um, Sweet Home and uh, one of the corpse parties does, and that the more people you have, the better off you are. This is just like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but with death. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go back and heal. I should just run next time. Well, at least we're all leveling up quite a bit. Yeesh. If I get another gecko, I'm just gonna run. Wait, didn't the kids actually die in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Ah, uh, one can hope. Here we go. Ayudo. This is incredible. Though I have to say that it kind of betrays the typical image of an ancient ruin. It's way too tidy. Yeah, here we are, guys. The throne room. The end of the journey. It's, it's a mummy. Wait, no. This one is different from the previous mummies we've seen. This one is sitting on top of a golden throne in an elaborately designed room. Yeah, no mistake about it. This guy must be extremely important. Could he be the pharaoh? If so, this is who Professor Tsuchida was telling us about from the start. Is this Khufu? Could this really be him? Not much more I can do here. I should go get the professor. 
<laughs> ah, it is him. At last, my discovery has come to fruition. Bwahaha. <laughs> Seeing as this room seems to be a dead end, this must be it for the ruins. I couldn't find her. I couldn't find Nay at all in the end. Hmm. Hmm. Heh, <laughs> this is wondrous. I gotta say, it doesn't show any signs of aging. It's wonderfully preserved. You're gonna... Yeah, Raw from Stargate. Yeah, that was a good freaking movie. Um, let's see. And I'm not just speaking for the mummy, either. This room is immaculate. This mummy is, without any shred of a doubt, the pharaoh... K um, Knum Khufu. Look, his funerary mask is made out of pure solid gold and lapis lazuli. This isn't your ordinary national treasure. I have to wonder, how was Khufu able to hold that sitting position after all these years? One would assume that the weight of the golden mask would make him incline. Could his entire body be suspended by wires? Kuroi, what are you doing? P Professor, this mummy has a pulse. He has a pulse. Khufu is alive. How come Indiana Jones didn't deal with any mummies? I think Laura Croft was the one dealing with mummies. What? Don't be absurd. Let me see. Gasp. I must be going senile. Kuro, eh? Is Khufu breathing? I cannot tell with that mask obstructing his face. Though I don't see his chest rising. Huh. It's possible he may be in a deep state of sedation. This could pose a threat. Eudo, I have only one hypothesis as to why Pharaoh Khufu is still alive. What is it? It almost shames me for someone in my profession to give such an unscientific hypothesis, but here it is. Everything we have experienced thus far, all of the unexplained unnatural occurrences, are all the work of Pharaoh Khufu. In other words, you're saying you believe this Khufu guy has psychic powers? Well, if you want to put it like that, then yes. Hmm, if any of my cohorts back on the council hear me talking now, I'd have my position, re position revoked and be laughed out of the building. Since we're on the topic of hypotheses, here's another one. We were all mistaken that the Great Pyramid houses the Pharaoh's tomb. Its true purpose is a place to perform rituals. This structure is far too convoluted for a mere grave. It certainly is complex, however, the improvements we've made to the surveying process in recent years have revealed that pyramid structures are commonly made in pairs. A structure on the surface will likely have an inverted structure below. Thus, this explains the existence of these ruins underneath the Great Pyramid. After this, I guess we can no longer call this the Pharaoh's tomb. I see the truth laid out in front of me. The Pharaoh has not been buried here at all. Uh, excuse me? Could you, could you explain a little, a little more about this whole ritual thingy? Ah, yes, about that. Let's see... He's a vampire? He's an antediluvian. Yo, can we start talking about things that make some freaking sense? You keep prattling on and on. I've had it with this lame field trip. All for what? To see a decomposing old fart? As I was saying, Ayudo, do you remember those falcon-headed statues from before? If you recall, I told you the pharaohs are incarnations of the god Horus. Ergo, the pharaohs are regarded as great, powerful gods by their people. Way to totally ignore me, Gramps. To put it in simple terms, once you make or once you take the throne in ancient Egypt, you ascend to uh, to godhood. For a mortal to become a god, one must perform a most impressive, intricate, and thorough ritual to obtain that status. The Great Pyramid is a perfect place to hold such a sacred ceremony. That is my theory. You're saying this is the place where a man becomes a god? More or less, yes. How is that even possible? Hmm. Let me continue. I will explain what little I know of this ceremony. To become a pharaoh, you must be reborn as a god. Naturally, to be born again, you must die first. 
However, won't it all be over the moment you are killed? This is my understanding that they did not die in the literal sense. Instead, they were forced to undergo a mock trial of sorts based upon their beliefs of the afterlife. Don't you recall that I myself had once said these ruins were recreated in their view of the afterlife? No doubt, to take the throne and ascend to godhood, the pharaoh must have gone through this exact ritual here in these ruins. The ritual must have made to judge the quality of their soul. Truly terrifying. Well, I must say, one who can have their soul judged and come out as a flawless man is one who is doubtlessly fit to lead, wouldn't you say? In conclusion... I believe Khufu is holding on to life, waiting to pass on his rule to the next worthy successor. To imagine he's been watching over these ruins all this time. Although though impromptu, that is my hypothesis. None of us should hope to obtain godhood here, however. We are all of Japanese descent and shouldn't be begging for any rights of succession. Professor, though it's slight, Khufu is definitely breathing. It's slow, but rhythmic. Could he be utilizing a, a pranic breathing technique? He's breathing in a way that uses up the least amount of energy possible. This may be a part of the wisdom derived from their ancient civilization. Phew. What now, Professor? There are still quite a few mysteries left unsolved, but we've done everything we can here, right? Let's go back to the surface. We can inform the SCA of our findings and leave the rest up to them. But didn't they suck their brains out of their noses through a sippy straw? Um, maybe this guy didn't get it. He says they don't die in the literal sense. So, maybe he avoided it. Indeed, this is the deepest part of the ruins, isn't it? There's nothing left for us to explore. Thus, there's no reason to stay any longer. However, I have one last problem to take care of. Eh? And what's that? Kuroe, tell me. Why are you here? Huh? What in the world are you insinuating? Why are you... Why are you able to stand before the Pharaoh Khufu? How could your soul not be judged? What? I don't understand. What are you saying? No, you couldn't possibly be dredging up the past. Oh, it's a thing of the past for you now? Just a happy memory for you, is it? I didn't mean to say it like that. What happened to Shizumi was a great loss for us all. I did everything I could to the best of my abilities. Did you truly try your best? Then why did you, during the time I was attacked by that jackal, offer me advice that saved my life? You think I could, you think I would let you get away with a petty little theft punishment? Ah, he's got a gun. Gasp. Professor, what are you, is that a pistol? You... You, what did you do? What the hell? Why? Why did you do it? What were you thinking? Do not fear, for my true goal has been achieved. And what? We're supposed to be relieved? Do you realize what you've done? I do. I shot a man named Koji Kuroe. The bullet passed through his heart, causing instantaneous death. The man's crime demanded judgment. He was a murderer who had committed a great sin. What? Y you want to see a murderer? Better look in the goddamn mirror, Gramps. You're a crazed, gun-wielding psychopath. Is this not Egypt? Please don't raise such a ruckus. Besides, it is not like what I did was without purpose. This man, he murdered my daughter. Eh? Don't you recall the horrible disaster that happened last year in Egypt? No, I don't think so. No, you surely must have heard about it. The Luxor massacre at Deir el-Bahari, where there was an anti-government terrorist attack. Many Japanese tourists were killed in the attack. Ah, then that would mean... At that time, I had brought a few of my students with me to conduct surveys. Amongst my students were Kuroe and my daughter. Shizumi, hang on. My daughter, my daughter's been shot. Why isn't the ambulance here yet? I have no choice. I'll administer emergency first aid. This should hold her for now. With your status, you will receive preferential treatment when it comes to medical relief. D damn it all. 
Ah, wait, Kuroi. You, you're a medical student, aren't you? Hurry and do something. Huh? I already did what I could. Look, an ambulance is over there. Couldn't you use some of your, uh, some of their supplies? You want me to perform surgery? No, I can't do that. Why not? You've all but graduated, haven't you? You should have all the proper knowledge. That doesn't matter. I do not have a proper medical license to perform operations. Doing that would be a grave violation. That I'd never be allowed to become a doctor. What are you saying? A girl is dying in front of your eyes and you call yourself a doctor? After that, my Shizumi was... When I was 40 years old, I was blessed with a beautiful daughter, my Shizumi. So that's why you killed him? Now what? Do you feel better now? You changed nothing. Perhaps. I guess I am left with nothing now. I didn't always intend for it to end this way. I originally just planned to work Kuroe to the bone. The bastard. He showed no regret for his ineptitude, no matter how hard I worked, I worked him. All he cared for was all that glittered. Now my daughter can rest in peace. What? What's this? The mummy. He stood up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whoa. I see now. It seemed I was judged for my crime. I murdered someone and was caught red-handed, huh? How ironic. Well, that's fine. I did what... I came to do. This will end everything. I'll get you out. Let me move this pillar. Ayudo, you're a good-natured lad to the very end. Cough. You... you don't care about the things I did. I can't just stand here and watch someone die. Ah, uh -huh. you better watch out. I'd hate for you to grow old and turn into another me. Ugh. Oh, this is horrific. So this is the work of Pharaoh Khufu, huh? With that golden mask covering his face, I can't read him. Is it even possible to say if he still if he is uh if he is still capable of human emotions at this point? Call him to your senses, Professor. <laughs> Good one. I sense this feeling of grave danger somehow. We we need to get out of here. Yo, Ayudo, we should get away from this guy. Don't you think this is getting a bit too dangerous? Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, you're right. Whoa. What the hell? Hey, Kiyosuke. Kiyosuke? What the hell are you doing to me, you fossilized jerk? Gah! Kiyosuke! <laughs> There's been enough bodies. Stop it. Stop. Get prepared for the battle against Pharaoh Khufu. Two living. Okay. You know what? Uh, let me take one second and make a backup of the saves. That's really what I should have done from the beginning, I think. Then again, I don't know if the save files are kept in the same directory. You know what? Screw it. I'll just save over that earlier, earlier save, I guess. Yeah, this one. That way I'll still have the save data number two file where I can grind, because this is going to be difficult. Yeah. Normally, we'd have a party of, like, four to five people, but that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, and there's no way for us to leave. Are you ready to battle Pharaoh Khufu? No. We gotta shout first, get ourselves revved up. Kyosuke, speak to me, are you okay? Ah! <laughs> no good, I don't think he can even hear me. He's getting force lightninged. The dark side is a path to many abilities one would consider yeeting. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Recruit teammate. Oh no, I wasted it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to do but just hit him and hit him and hit him. And then heal when you can. I'll wait for him to hit me one more time, and then I'll heal. Okay. First aid spray. Shoot, that's really not doing much, is it? Okay.
I'm dazed, I might as well not even bother attacking. There's the good thing I got 38 sprays of my first aid spray. YMCA? Yeah. Although I'm dazed, I don't know if I can actually hit him. Oh, I could! Okay, we're fine then. Ooh, pillar in the air at us. Panicked. I can't attack. Shoot. Okay. We're just gonna play it safe. Surely I couldn't possibly use up all 36 of my first aid sprays, right? Need four more pharaohs to do the song. Dazed by the pharaoh's beautiful eyes. Yeah, those are painted on. Those aren't actually his real eyes, funny enough. There is his real eye. Wow, we beat him. That, I think the battle's way easier if you've lost everybody, to be honest, because I don't remember it being this easy last time. Received 33 experience. Less experience than a gecko. Phew, I've defeated him. Ah, there's blood. This could only mean one thing. The pharaoh before me was a living human being. His lukewarm blood is sticking to my hand. Am I trembling? Did I kill a man? Does this make me a killer? His pulse. Even now, is his heart still beating? No, he must be dead. Ugh. Kyosuke! Hey, are you okay? Ugh. My head's pounding. Did you hit your head? You saved me, right? Yeah. That Khufu Pharaoh guy. What happened to him? I killed him. What? What do you mean by that, Ayuto? Okay, so you did him in, but... I don't like this feeling. I did this to another human being. I ended a person's... Shut up, man. Just listen to yourself. Yeah, you killed someone. But wasn't it to save my life? It was kill or be killed, damn it. Besides, he wanted to die. What? This guy's been living down here all alone for thousands of years. The dude had nearly gone insane from being alive that long. Think of it like this. You finally freed him from his own personal hell. I did? Come on, man. Let's just get out of here. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Oh no, he was a load-bearing boss. What's going on? Yeah, we should really hurry the hell up. What? I might be paranoid here, but the whole time I kept wondering why are these huge-ass ruins in such tip-top shape, even to this day? It bothered the heck out of me, but now I'm pretty sure it was the power of Khufu himself that kept it that way. Let's see... Now, this brings up another issue, and that is, there's no Khufu to keep these ruins going now, right? Then that means, with Khufu being dead, these ruins won't last much longer. No way, that can't be true, can it? That's just some crap you would usually see on the silver screen. Whoa, never mind that, we gotta run. Seriously, what are you standing around for, Ayuto? Come on, we got a jet. What are you doing? You still want to save that old man? Forget him, it's already too late. No matter how you look at it, he's dead. If only it were that simple. Is it that easy to write off a human life? What, are you still... Look, man, this is a matter of survival, ain't it? We don't have time for this now. Enough, we gotta move. Kyosuke has joined the party. Okay, let's go ahead and save real quick. Uh, which one was I saving in? Doesn't matter, we've pretty much beaten it. Okay, one last little action though. Patui, there we go. And then just in case, let's try to pull. Okay, let's try pulling it. Nope, there's nothing to pull. Uh, I know you could technically do something. A bunch of Egyptian hieroglyphics and symbols seem to be carved into the ceiling. It certainly adds to the feeling this room has a very special purpose. Should really stop calmly describing a room. All right. 
Push what? Oh. Oh yeah, those pharaoh eyes are moving. We oh, we can check on this guy. Nope, nothing we can do. Sorry, guys. He just spit at the mommy. <laughs> Rude. He had it coming. I mean, he basically killed like, a, uh, what, ten people or so? That was close. Some timing, huh? Hmm? Ayuda, what the hell's that underneath your feet? Huh? Ah! Well, what the heck? Is that a face? Nah, it doesn't look human to me. Seriously, man, what the heck is going on? How could something like that even be possible? Khufu's dead. Don't look at me, I ain't got a clue. All we can do is focus on getting the hell out of here. Yeah, it is a face, isn't it? Cool. Wait, let's see. Nope, okay. <laughs> hey, Hudo? Oh yeah, this is where Ichikawa was. If only we'd found her- Ugh, My bad. I'm gonna keep looking for her. Eh? You serious, man? The hell? Why do you keep spouting that crap? What, you gonna waste your life here on Mission Impossible? Dumbass. You can't do Jack if you're dead. But we never found her body. I might still be able to save her. She's right down there below us. That sound. Whoa, wait up for me. Nay! You're alive. I'm gonna pull you up. Hey. Come on, grab on. Mm. Nay, your clothes, they're torn apart. <sighs> yeah, yeah, there's Nay, everybody. Okay, um... Why didn't you save me, she says. Yeah, they do speak a little bit, but you gotta, gotta be quick to see the dialogue. Here she goes! Ugh, wretch. Ugh, what the hell's going on? Ugh, damn it, nay. No, that can't be her. Whoever, no, whatever that person was, she wasn't alive, that's for sure. Do you know if Nate can be saved? Well, we will find out on the next episode where we try to do our best. We're dreaming. Yeah, we gotta be dreaming all this. If she can be saved, we'll find out, uh, next livestream. This was the bad ending, or bad run. We'll do a good run. Let's go, Ayuto. I don't know what's going on here, but it's time for us to move. And it is possible to be so slow that you do end up dying. The floor will collapse, collapse around you. <laughs> Hey, Ayuto, isn't that... It is! It's Yo-Yo! Uh, yeah. Yo-Yo, hey Yo-Yo! If we don't hurry up, we're all gonna be in trouble. Let's escape all of us together, okay? Kyosuke, stop. D don't touch her. You saw it, didn't you? What that dog did? Kuroe and the professor both lied to us. There's no way she could've... Shut your goddamn mouth. You're the only one who's a fucking liar here. Yo-Yo's fine. Nothing happened to her. See, man? She's getting up. It hurts, it hurts! Ugh, that wasn't... Ah, God damn it! What the heck? Her face, her face was... Just what's going on here? Oh shoot, I clicked through that. Uh, he's probably telling him to just get it together. We gotta get out of here. We can't get close to the corpse anymore. Alright, time to save real quick. You think we got time for this crap? No, we don't. Huh? Hey! Did someone clean up around here? I could have sworn she was supposed to be here. Did you spit on Yoko? I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Did that come from the ceiling? Ah. Uh. Why don't you join me?
What the hell? First Ichikawa, then Yo-Yo, and now her? What the hell's going on here? Oh, dang it, I did it again. Forget it, we should focus on escaping. Come on, Kyosuke. If you go back and pause, I'm sure you can get it, but otherwise. Let's see. No, okay. Well, might as well save real quick. Dude, stop spitting on the undead. Well, they should stop rising from the undead if they don't want to be spit on. Hold up. Wah. Don't tell me you hadn't noticed. It's not that, I just didn't want to say anything. Then you tell me. Why isn't Mizumi's body here? Don't tell me. It's happening again. Joke. Hey, what's wrong? I I'm being strangled. No, hey, Mizumi, how can this be? He's heading straight for us. <laughs> Enjoying yourselves? Cough splutter. Gah, you okay, Kyosuke? Yeah, man. That guy, he was supposed to be dead, right? Even if he was alive, what reason did he have to attack us like that? This world is jacked up. We don't have time to figure this out. Let's get out of here. What's going on here? Whoa, that was close. We made it by the skin of our teeth. Any closer and we'd be toast. Ayuro, remember what you told us? About what happened around here? Huh? You know, about our tour guide? Oh, yeah. This should be near the place where the ceiling fell and crushed her. Yeah, but why are you bringing this up now? Because I hear someone's voice. You do? Yeah, ever since we got here. Can't you hear it, man? I don't hear anything. What about now? Do you hear it now? Yeah, I can hear it. It almost sounds like Misotogi's voice. She's alive? No way, that's ridiculous. M Misato. Oh, you're right. I haven't been healing. I'm gonna have to do that. Um. I'm suffering. Come on. How much damage could she possibly do? She only has an arm and a head. She ain't alive, is she? No shit, Sherlock. All of her friends are attacking us, one after the other, just like uh, like that one crappy B movie I saw. Why did it have to come to this? You don't have time for sightseeing. <laughs> she was a Misotogi sandwich. Yep, too bad Barry wasn't there. drugs. Not even once, guys. Uh, people are talking about, I think, like, the Good Samaritan laws. I hate to say it, but there are some countries that only recently are getting Good Samaritan laws. So it's like, if you tried to help someone and you messed up, like, you gave them CPR and you broke their ribs, they actually could sue you and stuff. So, I know America's done really well at, at trying to protect people who have accidentally done wrong when they're helping, but I know a lot of other countries don't necessarily have that. Especially back in 1998, you know. So that's probably why Kuroe didn't didn't try to save the daughter, because he would have looked like a wacko with a scalpel, because he technically wasn't a doctor. Hmm? Is it just me, or do I suddenly smell gas? Probably means we're close to that one room that's filled with gas, right? Maybe the gas from there is leaking. Oh, I gotta heal. No, I'm fine. The door's busted. Huh? Did I just step on something? Ah! <laughs> That's amazing. 
Let's get the hell out of here, Ayuto. Yeah. Pant. Was that the big guy back there? The hell, man. He attacked us from underneath the sand. Kyosuke. They're all attacking us. Everyone who had died here now wants us dead. What do you think this could mean, man? Like hell if I know. Forget it. This is way too much for me to process. Let's get our asses out of here. Uh-oh. You know what's coming last, right? Um, Kiyosuke? I know, I know. That little girl died here, didn't she? Yeah, that means it's gonna happen again. Rin's gonna attack us this time, right? Shut up, I don't wanna hear this! This is too much for me, let's just get out of this hellhole. Heal? Eh, uh, yeah, I could use a heal. Ugh. I know they say things, but I guess they don't always. Tell you what, let me go ahead and defend. See if I can get any lines out of here. Ah ha ha, this feels great! <laughs> well, okay then. Glad you're enjoying it. Oh boy. Ah, damn it. It's Chucky the killer doll. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the Good Samaritan laws were like in Egypt in 1980 something, so it, it's it's a shame. Ah, uh, oh ah. Uh. Also, keep in mind that again, this is a this is a work of fiction. The guy maybe needed a reason for the professor to hate Kuro without necessarily making Kuro an automatic villain, so. Damn it. Again, it happened again. I knew it would come to this, but a part of me hoped it wouldn't. This is too heart wrenching. I can't take this anymore. N none of them none of this can be real. It was just like when I, I killed Pharaoh Khufu. I killed that poor little girl, my hands are drenched in her blood. I can't take this reality any longer. Ayoto, just focus on escaping. You've done nothing wrong, right? After you, man. Let's go. Yeah, has to be completely gut-wrenching. I don't think there's any, any more bosses, so... If I could crouch, I could fit- oh. Duh. Well, we finally made it. Now what? We're up the creek without a paddle. Or a boat. Maybe we could just swim back? Now that I think of it, we'd get eaten alive by those fish. We're back to square one. Now what? Maybe this is it for us, huh? Times like this, I wish I could be just like Moses, you know? Moses? Yeah, that old dude with the big white beard in the Bible? Why him? If I were Moses, I could totally do what he did when he fled from Egypt. I remember reading he was leading the Israelites out of Egypt with one pissed pharaoh on his ass. Then the old dude got cornered, trapped between the Red Sea at one end and this huge ass army on the other. So Moses... Kyosuke, you're not suggesting what I think you're going to suggest. So Moses, out of options, took up his staff and prayed like heck to God. That's when it happened. Can you get to the point already? I'm getting to it, man. When Moses finished praying, he slammed his staff into the ground and the sea totally split in two. Just like that? Uh, hey, Kyosuke. Kyosuke? Did you just do that? Huh? The river, man. Did you just part the river? How can I do anything like that? Yeah, it'd be impossible, but the river parted exactly like the story you just told. 
Shut up, man. Do I look like Moses to you? How could someone like me do something like that? What's next? Are you going to claim that I'm using some kind of crazy psychic powers like Pharaoh Khufu or something? What? You're saying this is the place where a man becomes a god? More or less, yes. There's been enough bodies. Stop it. Ugh, my head's pounding. Did you hit your head? What's wrong, Eudo? Kyosuke. Yeah? Remember what Professor uh, Tsuchida said? He said these ruins are a ritual the next pharaoh in line would have to endure to claim their throne. Yeah, and? Kyosuke, you're... You're the successor. You have acquired Pharaoh Khufu's powers. What? What the hell are you smoking, man? Think about it, man. You were the one. The one what? These ruins have judged everyone's crimes. No, they not only judged, but also played the role of jury and executioner. Everyone was judged except you. You were deemed... You were ultimately deemed worthy in their eyes. Why not Ayuto, you say? I had that thought, too. These ruins couldn't find any fault with you. You are without sin. You are the only one who has the right to Pharaoh, to the Pharaoh's legacy, Kyosuke. You are the heir to his throne. Are you even hearing what the, the words that are coming out of your mouth? That Khufu bastard tried to kill me. Don't you remember, man? No, he wasn't trying to kill you. I think he was preparing you to take over his throne. Thinking back, the Pharaoh did seem awfully frail to me. Somehow, he knew he couldn't afford to waste a single moment without at least passing his powers on to you. How are you the only one who seems to know all this? So you're saying that electricity was actually Khufu transferring his powers? And now I inherited his powers? This is whacked! How can I be the next pharaoh? This is more than just a theory. Could you try levitating my cap? What? Dude, that is the stupidest thing you could ask for. What makes you think I can do that? Well, this dumbass thinks I could levit- What? <laughs> it's floating. See? See? Dude, no way. Whoa, we should hurry. We gotta get out of here. Wait, Kyosuke. Now what? I just remembered something. Back then, you said something when these ruins were collapsing. Does that ring any bells, Kyosuke? Everyone's like, he's not innocent. <laughs> Ayato should be the chosen one. And there's no Khufu to keep these ruins going now, right? Eh? Whoa, what are you saying? I'm saying that because you thought the ruins were falling apart, that prophecy came true. What? You're the pharaoh now, Kyosuke. Whatever you think becomes reality. He spat on all the corpses. <laughs> well, that might have been more me than him. Oh, I still don't get what you're saying, man. Look, I... Okay, I get it. We gotta go. Now, you see, uh, your wild imagination caused this to happen. Like that time with Nei. With Yoko. With Sayori. <laughs> the list keeps going. When Mizumi attacked us. Like with Miss Otogi. Like with that one guy who <laughs> doesn't even get a name. Let me get some water. All right, F's in the chat for that one guy who died who <laughs> doesn't even get a name. <laughs> oh my god. Like with that one guy who died. Or S to spit in chat. <laughs> it's up to you. With how Rin's body ended up like that. It's terrifying, knowing that whatever little demons your mind thinks up ends up coming after us. You now have the boundless power of the pharaoh, Khufu. Whatever scenario you paint into the canvas ends up happening for real. It's crazy. Phew, now you get it? Yeah, only that you're a friggin' moron and might be touched in the head. Kyosuke, whatever you do, just shut your eyes and close off your mind. At least until we cross this river. Until then, don't open your eyes, okay? Who knows what weird crap you'll think about if we let your eyes and mind wander. 
Hey, watch it. You don't have to drag me around like that. Ow. Whoa, chill out. Remember, don't think about anything. What's there to think about? Quit being stupid, man. We're almost out of the pyramid. Come on, hurry. How can I hurry? You're... Ah! Mm. Oh, my head is throbbing. Huh? What was I doing? Oh, are you awake, Kyosuke? What? Where am I? Don't you recognize it? This is the hotel we booked. Yeah, I get that, but... What the hell? I can't remember what we were just doing. Yeah, you guys thought this would be a romance between him and his childhood girl? Nope. Bromance. You don't rem- what were we doing? You don't remember escaping from the Great Pyramid? Uh, yeah. I remember that. So we got out safely? Hmm, guess you could say that. Did I fall asleep? What time is it? Uh, it's nine in the morning. Eh? Uh, are you telling me it's tomorrow? When we got back to the hotel, it was late last night. If it's early in the day, then why do you have the curtains closed? I didn't want you to look around and get any strange thoughts. Your imagination is a threat to us all. Yeah, I see. Homosexual. <laughs> I have supernatural powers now. I wonder if that's why my head's been pounding so much. Oh, that? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. What? You see, Kilske, while we were escaping, you were seriously losing it, you know? We were running out of time, and the ruins were about ready to cave in on us, we were being pelted with rubble. So I thought maybe if I gave you a light tap on the head, I'd be able to carry you the rest of the way. I'm no expert on how much force to use to knock someone cold, so I think I may have overdid it. A pharaohsexual. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. You did what you had to do. That's why my head hurts and I can't remember anything. Ayudo, you fucking bastard. Whoa, settle down, Kyosuke. It's judgment time for you. Your crime, insulting the pharaoh Kyosuke. In the name of the great Khufu, I shall punish you. You gotta be kidding me. Take this. Ow. Serves you right, peon. Did you just poke me on the forehead? Seriously, you, th you think I'd waste my godly powers on killing someone as lowly as you? <laughs> this is so surreal, isn't it? Imagine what you'll be able to... Oh, imagine what you'll be capable of once you can... Once you can control your newfound powers. It turns into the movie Shazam. I'm betting my life would have been pretty interesting if that was the case. Too bad it's not. I'm not quite sure what happened, but I can't do anything anymore. Even if I put my mind to it, haha. <laughs> Everybody is fucking dead, Kyosuke. Yeah, you're right. What? What do you mean? My imagination can't be unleashed, so it's back to being contained in my head. Without my pyramid power, whatever, I'm back to my normal self. Pyramid power? The energy used to feel the pharaoh's power exists only inside the Great Pyramid. Because I left, the energy is gone and I can't use my powers anymore. That's a good thing, especially with your overactive imagination. We can all relax now, haha. <laughs> everyone we loved is dead. <laughs> can you use your mind powers to bring everyone back? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm amazed you trust my theory that much. Kyosuke, are you thinking about Yoko? I... I was scared shitless of that damned mutt. Even when it was gnawing at her, I was afraid that I'd be next. If I wasn't afraid about dying, then Yo-Yo may still be here today. I was scared too, but do you truly feel we didn't give it our all back there? The Kyosuke I saw was a man completely unconcerned with his own well-being and willing to give his life for another. I don't think anyone could ask for more than that. Sigh, I can't even fake it. I don't think I can go on. I've lost way too much. I know it's too late now, but I finally realized. Nay, I... I must stay here inside this dark room, with the weight of depression crushing me. I have to bear the weight of everyone who died. I must live on for their sake. Ha, huh. even the sky is dark and oppressive. I mean, no, it looks like blue, but okay. God, we didn't even get much of a, much of a uh, epilogue there with that with that terrible ending.
So there you have it, Pret M. Haru for The Prisoners. A nice little game that's just about 20 years old now, I'd say, and uh, was only recently, well, relatively recently, translated uh, in 2014 by a group of very cool people. They've also done a bunch of other Japanese games. Um, I think it's the only way you could play those Japanese games, uh, thanks to their translation. We'll have to look at other ones. I know there's like five different Corpse Party games, so I remember playing the original and the PSP one, but that's about it, so something to think of. I want the good ending. I feel so bad. All right, tell you what, we will go ahead and get the perfect ending. Well, as perfect as the game will let us. Like I said, you actually can't save everybody. We'll go ahead and play that either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there are multiple endings depending on who you save, etc. So we got the worst one where we literally didn't save anybody. Um, it was only me, which, I mean, your, your main guy, Ayudo. Um, and then his, his bud, so... Okay, so Kyosuke getting powers is useless. Well, pyramid powers are useless if your pyramid collapses, you know, on your way out. He sort of got the power and then made it just collapse. So let me let me go ahead and get a nice little bit of background music here. There we go. Something by Voidhead is always nice. Yeah, good stuff. And then we can kind of just discuss the game a little bit for like five minutes if you guys want to stick around. Give me what your thoughts are on it. Okay. There we go. So, what do you guys think, huh? Five years ago? It doesn't feel that long. I know, 2014 doesn't feel that long ago. Can't play it the day after tomorrow. Everything will be frozen. Can't play it the day after tomorrow. Everything will be frozen. Oh, are you getting a big snowstorm? Wait, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. As, well, as much as I would love to go for an eight-hour stream, I think four hours and 30 minutes is, is probably the limit. <laughs> But like overall, after everything, he just won't use it? No, no, I think what he was trying to say is pyramid power, the power of the pharaoh, only works when you're inside the pyramid. He made the mistake of saying, well, we just killed the boss. Isn't his little, his little, you know, empire gonna crumble now? So I take it that the pyramid itself, or at least the ruins, were destroyed. And as such, the pharaoh powers outside of the pyramid isn't any good. Yeah, you love that game style? I was like, RPG games like this? Yeah, absolutely. They really went full in. I think it was just one guy that did this, by the way. He did those, uh, I think, a lot of the sprites, and he did those cutscene images. And there's a lot of cut content uh, as well on the cutting room floor. I'd, re I'd suggest resisting looking at it, because there are going to be some major spoilers for the better ending in it. Um, but we can talk about it after I finally beat that last game. Oh, you know what? While we're still here, I can go ahead and show you that the the translators just to drop them a little bit yeah here we go memories of fear those are the people and i think they've done oh they've got done games mods and manga i haven't looked at the manga but i've looked at the games let me go ahead and just put my screen up there we go Yeah, okay. I can't read the... Hmm. Yeah, it'll it'll just have to be like this. I can't see the chat, because... Yeah, so we've got Corpse Party Rebuilt, Corpse Party Zero, Corpse Party Zero Demo, Corpse Party If, Killer Bear. I played that one, but unfortunately it breaks on me at the ending. It's some uh, loadout issue, I think, because of the Japanese RPG maker. The Desolate Hospital, Corpse Party Cross Fear, Ao Oni, Toilet in Wonderland, Hand in Hand... Corpse Party Past End, out only version 4.2, 603. There's the one we just played, Peret M. Haru for the Prisoners. And it doesn't look very striking. In my opinion, they ought to even use the pyramid here because it's just a bunch of bars, makes it look like some really cheap Flash game. Not knocking Flash games, but, you know. I made a Farewell Heights, Pan Sperma, uh, Friendship, The Go uh, Ghost School, June Bride Nightmare, Colors, Lost Memories, Purgatory, Colorful, The Mystery Files of Detective Inaba, number one, BX, Escap, Escat Paid, Tower of Felis, The Object, The Mystery Files of Detective Inaba, number two, The Investigation Files of Assistant Ari Mura, and The Mystery Files of Detective... Yes, yeah, so there you go. Um, so, and yeah, again, this is Memories of Fear, and I believe you can just download these for free and play them. Like, that's, that's, this is where I got, uh, you know, whatchamacallit. Looks like they do, you can't see it up here, but on the, the top corner, they've got games, mods, and manga, so. Just something cool, you know what I mean? Okay, let me look at the chat, because I couldn't see it. 
Oh, what was that? No, The Day After Tomorrow. It's a terrible movie that- Oh yeah, The Day After Tomorrow, right, right, with the, that had the Statue of Liberty frozen over. That's right, that's right. I, I'm just puzzled because it's so warm where I am. Maybe Nei and Yoku were zombies because Kyosuke believed they were still alive and the rest just came back because he expected them to? Yeah, exactly. I think he himself brought those guys back to life because he imagined that they, they could be alive and haunting them. So that's, that's exactly it, I think. I kind of like the day after tomorrow. It was hokey, but kind of fun. One guy, did, one guy did Cave Story, no? I don't know, I, I don't have a lot of experience with Cave Story. I've actually never played it. Did we kill the boss? Pyramid, well, guess I'll die. Yeah, load-bearing boss. That's why it's a, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Trope. Let's see, corpse party. Yeah, did you see how many corpse parties were there? So, yeah, lots, lots of stuff. I'm thinking of playing the original Corpse Party. I played it way long time ago. I, I really did like it. I, I understand how polished the one on PSP was, but yeah, the original's pretty cool and it's got lots of personality as well. I got Red Dead Redemption 2 for Christmas. No, sadly not. I did get the first one with the zombie uh, DLC added on, but I really haven't had the time to play it. Name's not Chubb. He's called that one guy. Show some respect. Yeah, that one guy who died. They even they even said it, that one guy who died. Oh, drop a link to the site in the chat. Oh, oh, let me go ahead and copy and paste that. Here we go. Memories of fear. And it's so funny because the icon for this site, I'm pretty sure, is that one guy, uh, Kizami from Corpse Party. Or it could be some other, you know, thing. There we go. So, Memories of Fear. So if you're interested in playing some translated Japanese RPG Maker games, they got a lot of stuff. In the meantime, we will be replaying this game and getting the good ending where we do everything right and everybody is happy. The end. Um, so that'll either be tomorrow or the day after, right around the same time we started today, 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Chubbs the Tourist, formerly known as that one guy. Glad you haven't gone into hibernation yet again. Yeah, it's been hard because I've been. Ugh, there's been some things cropping up. Um, some important paperwork had my name misspelled, and I can't correct that without sending in like documentation. My internet's having a weird issue that they can't fix until like halfway through the month. Um, yeah, yeah, having to get all my shots updated. It's 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 rough. Not to mention New Year's revolu resolution. It's um, yeah. So hope you, hopefully you guys are having a good time. Thank you again to everyone that donated and everyone that took the time to, to show up and uh, participate in the chat and all you lurkers as well. Hope everyone's had a good time and, uh, you know, play the game for yourself. See what ending you get if you can figure it out on your own. Otherwise, uh, we'll be going through the solutions uh, in a day or two. And we will be reading that horrible book in the New Year's party. I'm glad I did this as a practice because I was tripping all over my words. Hopefully, I should be able to do much better when we read the book. Let's see. Yep, good night, everybody. Have a wonderful, uh, wonderful mid-January, I suppose. See ya in a day or two. Bye-bye.